Uh, so yeah, last we left off, uh, you had kind of looked into trying to escape uh, the pit. Uh, Noravar went off to kind of infiltrate since he, he basically stole one of their outfits. Uh, he, he looks like one of the guards. He's built like one, um, for sure. And he, uh, he goes off in his little, his little, uh, cape outfit here, whatever it is. I'm, I'm kind of far away from my camera. Nice. Um, but, uh, he's on my eyes. And, uh, <laughs> while he was off though, uh, the rest of you had noticed there was numerous, uh, members of the, of this labor camp that had, uh, been really poking and prodding at the top of the tower that had fallen. And so with that, uh, you went to investigate and see, like, what are they doing? And Morbarn had seen a strange object floating around uh, that eluded your sight. But inevitably, through uh, a combination of skill, luck, and perseverance, you managed to actually get into the tower whereupon strange occurrences happened, a chance encounter. Eventually you left and met back up with Norvar. And Norvar, can, uh, Dominic, can I get you to do, um, I'd like you to do a series of checks for me if you would. Um, I would like three of them. And I would like a performance check, a investigation check, and a perception check. And let me know each one, what, what each one is. And I'll tell you what you learned in your excursion. All right, Pittsburgh. so. I mean, to, the, to the Pittsburgh first or thing, the pit. All right. The first thing was a witch check? Uh, let's do performance. Performance. <clears throat> okay. You have a plus three. Uh, that would be. Uh, 15. 15, okay. So you actually managed to pass yourself off as a guard fairly easily. Um, you, as you kind of get in there, you notice that they've started kind of like creating, uh, while there is a wall on uh, to like their exit to the pit um, where you guys were processed when you guys came here about a year ago or so, there is a, um, it looks like they're setting up barricades, like putting crap in the way of the doors uh, making sure that if there is like a push for the to, for escape, it will not everybody can pile on all at once. Does that make sense? Yep. Um, as you approach, break up the crush. So break up the crush. Um, and uh, in addition, they've also uh, noticeably on the on the other side of the gate. Most of the guards are on the are on the side opposite of you guys, and you managed to get through and everything like that with a few of them. But they've since also brought in some of the ogres to help uh, enforce, we'll say. Okay. Uh, give okay. me your uh, perception check. Uh, 17. 17. Oh, very nice. So uh, you're killing it here, Dominic. Uh, so you, you kind of go through and you start picking up numbers. Uh, you estimate there are about um, maybe a dozen guards. Uh, they have archers. Um, there is one up in a tower. Um, there's several along the wall. And they have at least four guards on the, on the main door at any one time. OK. Uh, and give me the investigation check. I'd say I was doing good. Five. I did. Five. There's someone, one of the, one of uh, Jarzok's like lieutenants, like wizards, or whatever, is there. You're not sure which one, um, but you know there is one of the wizards uh, present. But you're not cool. sure which one. I like so that I can get all this information but draw no conclusions. Um, <laughs> like, well, it gives you it, it, it gave you some numbers on like wow. what what kind of forces you'd be facing. Right. Uh, the the gate is barred from the other side. Obviously, um, it seems that they have uh, they seem to be rewarding the ogres to keep them around. That much you do know, but you didn't get 
you didn't want to push your luck too much so you didn't like go really go hey where's the wizard can i see the wizard like you, know, <laughs> you were trying to pull <laughs> wizard of Oz or some shit you know um so yeah that's so much you didn't, want to, you didn't want to keep on following the yellow brick road yeah. okay cool so that's what you got you now have managed to get back out you get back out with your friends um there's now a uh they seem a little bit better armed uh there's about uh i'd say about a dozen or so of the members of the camp that have somehow either ar have basically armed themselves um some have clubs some have daggers um one has like uh like tools um some has a, like a makeshift spear so you guys have like a a, de a force you have people that can help out uh, a combination of dwarves um halflings and uh, humans okay send them so. to battle <laughs> so i just figured out i have a cloak now i i, I heard you mention you have it, a but cloak. I, actually, yeah. I see it yeah i i well, we you, all got they, items, so. the group yeah the group procured items you should have it on your sheet yeah i see um, i see i was like wait what <laughs> wondrous item all right all right, all right, getting caught up, waking up. Hey, Dominic, you, you were the wondrous item the whole time. <laughs> I know, I knew that in my heart. I knew that, kind of like Harry under the stairs. I knew. <laughs> um, okay, so I, I that's what I've been doing. Um, so, mm, all right, I guess I'm still doing that, right? Or no, no, you're done, you, you're done, you're back with the group. They come back uh, with several items, uh, and you uh, were, you managed to also like to steal a few things, a few like tools and such like that. Um, but there is, uh, and they seem to have a few new new shiny baubles themselves too. Okay. Um, okay. I have so, a question. Good to see you all. Those makeshift like thieves tools that I made, mm -hmm. do I still have yeah. those, or are they like? No, they they were like one shot it right. out there. They weren't meant to last. They were kind of yeah. like a, it was more of like, uh, like wooden uh, slants and stuff like that. They're and you used them on like a hot met iron <laughs> piece. Like okay. you you they're there. Like they're now broken up and stuff like that. But you might be able to procure more later on for sure. Cool. Yeah. So I guess I tell them all of that. So they yeah. Tell your adventure. So yeah, I just hung out. And then they made me walk over there, and then I had to walk over there, and then I walked over there. <laughs> but I learned a lot while I was doing it. Did you see a uh, area of um, that was the most vulnerable, Norvar? Well, let me think about that. It seems like they were all about the same. I mean, I think. You know, they're trying to really set everything up uh, to keep us in, which, you know, was my forestated concern uh, a while ago. I mean, I don't want to be an I told you so kind of guy. But, um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, they're getting kind of dug in, and it, and they're, it's already going to be kind of a, a tough push to get out of here. Uh, but Norvar, make an insight check. Uh, five. <laughs> All right. Yeah. These eyes see everything. <laughs> the mind still struggles. The mind fails. <laughs> <laughs> uh, body strong, but the mind is weak. All right. Uh, you um, yeah, you you were trying to like the morale seemed pretty good. Everybody, seemed okay. every, everyone seems surprisingly good for a tower falling on their head. Um, <laughs> I uh. I, I don't, I mean, you know, I, I think any of the gates would be okay. Uh, There's just the one gate. The one gate would be okay. Any of, <laughs> by any, I mean all of the pieces involved in, in that one gate. Um, Were you able to saboteur anything? You oh, mostly, was, you was mostly that, got, your, your main you, thing that you got you was want me to do that? <laughs> did, did, did you? Did you want me to do that? <laughs> we thought that that's what you were doing. We thought well, you were like going undercover. I well, I did. 
I mean, you know. <laughs> but more recon. I, we under, yeah, I, I see. I mean, but I, what, what do you want me to wire it with? Like, what <laughs> I feel like everyone's <laughs> shaking them down right now. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of a jack. You know, like, I mean, I risked myself walking in there. It's not like I know them all. And, like, the other thing is, like. You were very brave. No, I'm not. Okay, don't. <laughs> you don't have to placate me. It's just that. <laughs> I don't know what you wanted me to do. I, like, what, should I sabotage the barricades with harsh language? Like, what do you want me? <laughs> I don't. I have the sword in this cloak. What do you want me to set fire? <laughs> like, what, uh, Dude, I mean, uh, I, I will. I still can. Oh, does anybody? You, you holding something? What do you got? Got yeah, a you jar. Weren't caught, right? What? What? I was say you weren't caught, right? No. I'm standing right okay. here in front of you, dwarf. All right, I think. Well, <laughs> who knows? We need to get that was out a hard of here. D. Yeah, we need a plan, right? That's not a hard uh, D. That was a that was a soft D. Jesus, <laughs> a soft D, dwarf. When is a soft D ever a good thing? <laughs> yeah, I was like, am I supposed to not make the joke? At this I point? feel yeah. like I walked right into that, and that's, that's okay. Fair. That's fair. That's okay. But the point is, is if you want me to sabotage it, I'm totally fine with doing that. I just need something to take over there in which to sabotage it with. I and can't well. do it with a soft D and harsh language. I have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm open to suggestions, uh, mm. you know, from the So some of the people, so some of the, uh, you're, you're overheard uh, by the other people around you, and this uh, this middle aged man, maybe like uh, like mid forties, comes over. He's got a club. He looks kind of in tatters, uh, pretty worn. He's like, "We should just take the fight to them." There's 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 so many of us. How many did you say there was there over there? Maybe a dozen. There's got you know there's got to be at least like twenty of us. We could probably get through. Okay. First off, hello. Who the fuck are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm uh, kidding. Yeah, no, he's right. We we could honestly, if we're going to make a push for this, this would probably be a good idea. I mean, Rudy McRudy. Quick question. Yeah. You know. Did uh, did we inform Norvard of everything that happened? No, you don't. he didn't tell me anything. I, was, I don't I, think I he waiting. knows. Yeah. Don't I was waiting for you guys. I was, Questions I was waiting and accusations. That. You know? I was I wasn't I didn't want to put words in your mouth and and like or if you guys want to keep him in the dark you're welcome to but please feel free to inform him. Uh, okay, so <laughs> yeah, that'd be kind of mean. <laughs> Just, yeah. No, so uh, so uh, uh, team now. <laughs> saw a saw a floating basketball or something. What? Uh, we um, investigated. We went basketball. in the tower. You were and, in the tower. Yeah, we went yeah. into the tower. Uh, and we found out that it was an alien. Now, metagaming here, it's a spectator, so it was a lesser beholder, but our characters don't know that. And we communicated with John, help me out, what was the guy's name? Uh, he was a benefactor. Uh, right? They call him the benefactor. the benefactor, they referred to him as a benefactor. The benefactor. And, and he seemed to and take he... over, whatever, the benefactor seemed to take over. Yeah, he like the, possessed. The possessed, yes. the spectator. So the spectator, if you guys are curious, looks like this. There's spectator. So, uh, and it was so, doing like inventory of everything yes. inside the tower of weapons. And um, he basically said he would assist us in our push to get out. And um, we were able to take a couple. He, he gifted us a couple items, but asked us to take no more. Let me, so. let me just stop you there. And let me just review. You all went while I was risking my life going undercover, presumably to piss on the uh, the barricades on the gate to sabotage them, because that's all I could do. You guys went into the tower. Mm -hmm. You met a basketball-like alien being who was doing inventory and then was <laughs> possessed by someone else who said they would help you and gave you shit. Yeah. I speak, we speak the truth, yeah. That's what happens when you wander off, dude. That's insane. <laughs> Check out, I got these saddle bags of holding. <laughs> what do you mean, sa saddle bags of holding? What the <laughs> fuck? You guys were going shopping with some alien inventory in this while I'm trying to get us out of here. What the hell are you doing? Nothing, nothing you said is incorrect. In but the I will supermarket? Say, what the? 
Yeah. Well, we didn't grab everything. <laughs> we just got a couple things. Uh, and, and <laughs> it was a convenience all, store. And we, we don't really agree. trust this dude. Yeah. Yeah. We all agree no. that we don't trust this dude at all. Well, I We're imagine. Just him to get out. I mean, I wouldn't trust any speaking basketball myself. What the <laughs> fuck were you guys smoking? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. This is an what alien? Like, okay, I'm a little incredulous. I mean, I'm not saying I don't believe you guys. See, you have stuff. And Let the, me get the, to the most <laughs> important question, though. Did anybody grab me anything? Um, you, you, okay, you managed, you're all dicks, first off. <laughs> no, you are. <laughs> you did manage to procure a, uh, a nice little set of potions from the other side, though. Yeah, I mean, I know what I got, but I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what did you I didn't bring hang us? out with the talking basketball. What? I mean, I we, has anybody ever seen a talking basketball here before? Is this a new thing? I mean, never. In my life. Seem really no. caught. What do you mean <laughs> you've seen it more? Okay, so I, I mean, I'm just sorry. I don't know if I've ever seen a talking basketball doing inventory. What was the inventory? The stuff your whole. Okay, you know what? I'll believe you guys. Fuck it. Why not? Like that yeah. makes so, sense. The deal, that was the deal the, that was struck with them was we got some fancy shit. Yeah. Uh, don't take anything else. You're such and a to monk, cause right? chaos amongst uh, Zargash? Zardash? Uh, uh, Zarzok. 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 So You're just to cause chaos. Now, we agree that, look, we're planning on probably doing that anyway because we want to get the fuck out of here. Right. Um, is so he, it's kind of a win-win. Oh, it, and he wanted to rendezvous with us in the desert once we're out. So is that's why. Uh, I mean, I don't know if that's necessary. Yeah. It's very the, vague. So the yeah. basketball is supporting our intentions. Well, Boom shakalaka. What is a basketball? <laughs> 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 what is a basketball? <laughs> <laughs> did the ball have a name? It did not. It had a oh, huge <laughs> eye. It had a huge <laughs> eye with huge little eye. tentacles with little and eyes. Was, and he dribbled a bunch. He did dribble. Walking through it, called itself the benefit. Dribble. I I'll, I'll gladly the... open the hatch again, and you can go inside and speak to the basketball yourself. But I turned <laughs> to the, <laughs> the, I turned to the tattered uh, gentleman that had come up rudely and interrupted. Yeah, and this guy's like, club. this guy's hearing this conversation. He's like freaking out now. He's like, well, maybe <laughs> I turn and look at him. I was like, excuse me, sir. Have you thought of starting an adventure party? <laughs> Mine seems to be broken. No. Um, like, no. Okay. Look. You know what? That makes no sense to me. You guys are speaking gibberish, but the world is a crazy place. You all seem to believe it. Uh, if uh, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Okay, so let's help the flying alien eyeball with the inventory and get the hell out of here. Sure, whatever. Well, um, we should also mention that we saw that the tower where it was hit, it was hit with like a precision and consistent shot. Like it wasn't like a jagged lightning crack. It was a, yeah. almost like a sustained. Uh, Which, again, we would use the term laser, right? And it made it made a, a really light. clean cut. A beam. Yeah, there you go. Which the benefactor took credit for doing as well. Yeah. Yes. Yes, he did. You know, <laughs> you guys are weird. <laughs> you guys are real weird. I you guess the. Seems... The question would be, do we just storm the gates? Do we use you as cover to like you? bring up a prisoner? Do we send these uh, tattered bunch up there? Do I charge it? I mean, what, what is the plan? I, I love how to... we're just moving on from the flying basketball <laughs> eyeball that you guys don't seem really affected. What, what else can you, you do, man? You gotta move on. I mean, we're I mean, there's I mean you know, I'm, I'm with you all. I'm just, you know, I'm still processing. This is. crazy story you just gave me. I I mean I've undead wizards with magic. I mean, you know, whatever. Okay. Well uh, would, it, would it be helpful if it was like a talking baseball? What's baseball? Okay, no, yeah, let, yeah, let's, yeah, let's, that, let's that just, it's fine. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. I'm I'm all right. I, you know, I, whatever. I, I got you. Let's move I, on. Can, I hear about here's my deal. I'm canonically saying that basketball is a real game in my world. Baseball's okay. not, but basketball, because baseball makes no <laughs> fucking sense if you really look at it. But basketball is a game. However, though, it is not what we think of as basketball. However, though, it does use a ball that size. So, Fantastic. We well, I mean, I just reunited with, I'm just glad to reunite with my friends and hear all this L. Ron Hubbard shit. So, here we go. <laughs> let's, 
Let's get the fuck out of here. Um, all right. I can get close. So if, if we have a plan, like maybe I should try and get in there and set fire to this or well prepare. what we could do maybe a little I mean, bit guards all over us, set up is you could pretend like we're prisoners yes and okay. then you get close and then we what about roll for initiative what about um all the meat shields over here i mean <laughs> the I, red shirts the red sorry, shirts yeah. are, you, are you really asking I, me i'm still trying to be better Look, what are, we have a lot of people who all want to leave. Why don't we all like really think about how we can do this? But that they're they're getting ready for a big rush. So the best thing we could do is try any sort of disruption that we Diversion, could possibly yeah. do. Make some noise would really be or a distraction. A just making noise. That's the most sensible thing you said since you started talking about the basketball. Um, what is what could we do? We should set fire to shit. I do have a potion of uh, giant strength. Maybe I can, like, you know, throw something or start some kind of big explosion or do something. You're not strong with, enough. With, well, I could get stronger. It'll beef me up okay. um, to, like, 21 strength. And maybe I can lift or, like, actually, do, you know, cause a huge diversion somewhere else while mm. you – Okay, steroids, good. Just an idea, good. yeah. I right. got some horse steroids. Horse steroids. <laughs> horse steroids. <laughs> Anyone got any other uh, things that we can create a diversion somewhere nearby that we can get some of these some of these guards' attention? It, it, uh, fire, explosives, um, harsh language. Okay. Ma magic? Well, no. Uh, Sorcery? Is there any way we could – are there any <laughs> – Jesus. Uh, Torches or anything that we can. Anyone uh, got anything can, to start fire with? Find stuff, you can find stuff to start a fire. Uh, it isn't like you're, you're not going to have like a, a barrel of pitch and tar or something like that, but I mean, right. you have like, you know, you guys could make fire if you wanted to. All right. All right. I mean, I don't, I don't mean to presume here, but why don't Torches we try and start a fire in a couple places to create some confusion and then we go. Really quick. Um, what time of the day is it? Uh, right now, it's um, I will say it's morning, or what, what, what time of day do you want it to be? <laughs> well, I'm just saying that maybe night would be a preferred. I am completely obsidian skinned. Yeah, uh, you're a little, you're a little I, weak I in the sun, but you're giving them a whole day to get ready for what we're about to do. And I may not, Which is I what? might not be able to see in the dark as well, so it might be difficult for me. Um, you you can do it on, at like uh, dusk, maybe like under dim light. Yeah, that'd be a good well, blend. I mean, what you know, what I'd like to do is see if we can start a couple fires in a couple places to distract the guards, so that it really becomes a thing all at once. And then, as in the confusion, as they're trying to address stuff, maybe we can have some people. I can come up to them and try and get. A bunch of guards come with me to put the fire out. And in that confusion, we go for it. Mm -hmm. And I feel like Morbarn is kind of sneaky. And she could, you could probably get he, – Morbarn mm -hmm. could get up there Mor or um, be the uh, prisoner. Saria, to escape. Saria and, and Morbarn are your best stealthers, yes. Yeah. Okay. And Saria, yeah. Maybe they could be the – somehow um, when we create all this confusion, they can do something and uh, sneak into some weak points or, I don't know, something like that. Or be the prisoners – and then when the diversion unravels, attack. Mm -hmm. And to think when I met you, I just saw a gladiator. <laughs> this is perfect. I think I think we have a plan. This is, I mean, everybody. All right. I, I like, like it. this. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, what time of day, you guys have like the like kind of the day to like set this up. What, when do you want to do this? Like, like dusk or? Uh, well, if, time? I mean, I guess however long it would take to set up a couple fires that'll go off about the same time, get everybody back. What, what kind of fires do you want to have? And what are you trying to burn? Uh, mean, garbage fires? <laughs> Something right, I can right. and, build and throw. <laughs> no, no. So there are there currently have been fire a few fires here burning here and there inside the pit, and like they don't really seem to care. Mm. Like, hmm. What's the largest piece of material I can find? You know, if we it's have some bubble, people. people. <laughs> I, I mean, no, I you, just... you can find you can find like a pretty solid like piece of wood structure, like like a, like broken barrels and crap like that. I mean, you can find a fair amount of wood. Yo, let's get some barrels and roll them. Give them a whole donkey treatment. <laughs> yeah, donkey. Right. Yeah. 
Yeah, maybe is I can light them and throw them. Is it a hill? Like, is there a hill? Uh, it I mean, <laughs> oh, we it's, on a, it's on a slight incline up. So, it would bear, you, oh, that will work that's, then. Everybody. That seems problematic. Mm. Okay, well. Yeah. Uh, or maybe a large boulder I could throw towards the gate. Honestly, it's sounding like if the fires aren't really, they aren't really caring about this, they're not caring about that, you know, we're already yeah. destructive. We have a gate that they're not going to abandon. So, I mean, I can try and get them to move by running up and claiming uh, an uprising is going on, but that's just going to prepare them in place. I, yeah. I anybody... still think the, if, if we have more barn and Saria going in stealth like, and you kind of pretend like we, you put us in like a slip knot or something like that, and say I, I've got I've got some uh, some dissidents or, or whatever, um, and that way they're not going to be all like mm -hmm. that. They'll kind of be like okay, and then that's when we yeah, I like that's when okay. stabbing them. I mean, and then don't and forget then we have we have an art like a small army here of like twenty or so people who want yeah. to get well, them all out. Well, we They're won't tell up. them <laughs> since since uh, John Doe just came up to you and wants to uh, you know he's, do something. He's still here. Uh, he has a name. I call him <laughs> Club Guy. Club Mass. <laughs> oh no! Uh, what, what's his name? What's his name, John? Clubbin. His name is Clubbin. His, his name Clubbin. is Ren. Is Ren. 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 Ren McClubbin. Ren, Ren McClubbin of the Northern McClubbins. Go. Sorry, man. Well, tell me, yeah, sorry. He... You are you are you are now de facto leader of the resistance. And when you see us start fighting with the guards, I want you to take all these people and just rush them. Yeah. Should we have some? All right, easily. That, that's only a good plan. Yeah, I mean, we'll be the point Does of the spear. We'll, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like we that. will be the point of the spear. Like, we'll start the thing, but then the crush of you guys getting through, you, we should be able to let a lot of people through in the confusion. I mean, the four of us are armed, um, and I think that's a good thing. Yeah, I mean, it's as good as anything at this point. Infiltrate yeah, and there's definitely... And What's that? We'll infiltrate and surprise him, and then they okay. can so, yeah. so it sounds like Norovar is going to escort. Who was it they were going to escort? Zogchen? I think Saria and Morbarn, oh, right? Morbarn going to try to sneak in. Yeah, oh, they're pretty right. sneaky. I can get more people. So, yeah, Zogchen. And then, and then, yeah. and then yeah. Tearless, you, Tearless the, the problem with Tearless is not like you're, you're very noticeable. I think, um, honestly, me? no offense, no offense yeah. I think that. that you should come in with the large group of people. You should I will. I'll leave. Uh, yeah. Lead I will, uh, and they, yeah. th this actually works well because they actually do know who you are, and some of them are like, "If you're gonna do it, well, shit, maybe we can do it." Yeah, you can yeah. all do it. Yeah, yeah, I'll charge them up. Yeah. You can do I think, it. I think that's the way because <laughs> I can bring more barn. Uh, who do you think is more stealthy between the two of you? They're both pretty I mean, good. There's, there's not a lot of cover out there, so it's like there. There is actually a few. There, so more barn. There is actually kind of a low rise wall. Uh, the guides it up to kind of to narrow it up. Morbarn's because of Morbarn's height, stature, uh, you could actually certainly use that for cover to get a pretty good ways up there. Excuse me to remind me. I I know that I should be seeing this in front of me, but does anybody have arrows or is anyone in range? Uh, sorry, I does. Okay. Oh, it's a magic longbow now. Oh yeah. What? Is that was that from the eyeball bell thing, yeah. man? Yeah, and you notice that Morborn has a has a bone, I have a longbow. Uh, and and Morborn has a Crossbow. bone sword. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. How'd you get a bone? That's awesome. I, think I want a bone sword. That's really cool. <laughs> that's really cool. You all know. Right, well, no, I mean I'm just props to you. I mean that's metal as fuck. But all right, well listen. <laughs> Here we go. Wait, 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 wait till you hear what I name. I actually did name the sword if you're curious, and it is metal as fuck. The name of the sword is it's the bone sword of the iron tower. Ooh. There you go. So you, you got a bone, you got a, a sword with a name. <laughs> okay. All right. You know, that, uh, more barn. That's awesome. I, I'm very happy for you. Okay. Very so happy here's, for you. Got teeth on on it. here's my suggestion. Um, you get as close as possible using the rise to get up there. Um, uh, I think that uh, Soraya, you, uh, you, uh, did I say that right? Sorry. 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 
Elvin. Shadow Mantle. Uh, you should get. I mean, yeah, I was. I wasn't raised by them. I don't know. Okay. All right. So sh- Shadow Mantle, you get to a good position where you're not going to be left behind, but that you can start picking people off that are giving us trouble. If okay. you're doing that, and then when um, when uh, Chen and I are up there, I'm like scrolling to people's names, trying to be like, <laughs> ah, Chen and I are up there. When shit hits the fan, um, Trouncer, uh-huh. yeah, you uh, you come running in with everybody and re- let's let's just cause all hell because there's going to be a moment where we start we start really going at it in that gate and that's when we're going to need the long range cover. That's when uh, is there a signal with, or is it just I will know the time? The signal is, <laughs> yeah, I think it's going to be. Okay. Obvious, Pineapple. but I might. I will try to do a hootie who. Okay. Uh, but I mean, I think it's going to be as soon as as soon as Chen and I start getting into it, okay. and you'll probably see more barn, hopefully running up with her his badass bone sword that he got. Correction: I will not be seen. Yes. I will just. Uh, yeah, I will look for some type of signal from more barn. No, yeah. just just look. At you'll the, hear. Go. You'll uh, hear. Blood hitting the hitting oh, the God. hitting the ground. I will I will wait for the sound of blood I, hitting the gate. I, hate you guys I, I just so want to say real quick too. Let's... <laughs> uh, real quick, uh, and I, I, Andrea, I forgot to tell you this. Because uh, the way you were playing Morborn, I converted Morborn to a rogue. From okay. A rogue. Uh, you you're a rogue doesn't mean you're a thief. It just means you're like skilled and and kind of like you've been playing Morborn very much like a rogue and I'm, i think you have a lot more better times with, with him as a rogue um being more as opposed speaking. to a what a fighter oh, you were a fighter oh, oh. that's right yeah. Morborn, you've changed a lot since we first met that day that you drew on me i feel like you've come a long way um i don't know you're yeah. just not the person you were but i like it i like what i like what you're doing you know it's a little it's a little shady um all right well let's not look at Morborn for a signal since Morborn won't be seen Okay. To listen for the blood. Well, let me, then I will listen for right, blood. When Chen and I start fighting, help us. <laughs> so let me let me walk through okay. uh, understanding kind of what's what's happening here. Um, so uh, Norvar is going to walk up with Zog Chen, uh, basically tied up a little bit, like uh, you know how hands not it's full. Gonna mantle, look like it's going to look like, like it's nothing. Yeah, he's okay. going to be. Able and you guys are at a distance, so I'm not going to have you guys make a check to fake that. Like uh, normally, if it was like if you were to have an inspector, to have him check that. My main question right now is, and I have Tearless on on point. I know what Tearless is doing. Saria and Morbarn, we're going to you. So, how do you want to sneak up to this location? Do you guys want to do it together? Do you want to do it once one on each side? I do, think uh, I'm staying at a. Am I staying at a distance? I just want you to get in good. My suggestion is you get in a good position as close as you can, so you can give us some uh, range support. And this, they have some archers rock- too, right? They have archers too. Yeah, there, there's some rocky protrusions uh, there, Saria. So you could certainly like use those for cover and try to like sneak up to them yeah, if you want to. I'm go over there. And do you guys want me to stay? I mean, I'm much better at ranged attacks, but so do you want me to stay there or do you want me to rush when you guys rush? Come in, come in behind uh, as it, it gets clear. Like at some point, so many people are going to rush into this gate. It's going to be a little tricky. During that, when you see uh, Troncer come through, you hit up, you more point, you guys should, should come in with him. Okay. Uh, that way, we you don't get left behind in the crush because I don't know at mm-hmm. what point this gate could end up getting cut off. Like mm-hmm. I think we'll, maybe we'll can take care of everybody, but maybe it'll get shut down, and we want to all be on the right side of it when it happens. All right. Uh, okay. Does that sound like decent? I mean, if you take out anybody, you take out when stuff goes down is a huge help. Okay. I also Sorry. have oh, please. a spell called Ensnaring Strike. Yeah, it's very strict. Lets you basically when you shoot somebody, you can kind of wrap them up in like uh, vines or something like that, or rope or whatever. Troll. Get That's one of the trolls. Get in my pocket. Okay. Yeah, ogres. Is there ogres? The ogres. Ogres. Get Wait. one of the ogres. No, I'm not that mean. <laughs> um, yeah, that all right. Would suck. So okay, so it sounds like Sorry is going to try to like sneak up to a position, uh, a good firing position. Uh, Morbarn, what about you? Um, I am basically going to tiptoe my way towards the wall and try to kind of not go through the gate but over the wall do you do you want to go on the same side as Saria or do you want to be on the opposite side I think I think it's better that I go on the opposite side but still within view 
okay. so that we can like problem. yeah right. anybody that you guys take out is going to be a help let me let me I uh, kind of pick them off yeah because there's like a little cluster of ogres where i'm headed and i think i can maybe they don't seem like they're paying too much attention i might be able to take out a few um all right let me go ahead and get a, a stealth check from saria and a stealth check from Morbarn. Uh, both of you have plus fives Those rolls are so quiet. Eight. So still? Eight. Okay. Yeah. What sorry you get? Um, I got an eleven. With plus five? Yeah. Wow. Okay. So all right. So sorry. So you begin uh advancing up and you actually make it. Uh you actually make it to a decent position. Um you're a little worried if you keep on pushing your luck, you might get seen. Uh, Lorborn uh, getting you actually managed to like get not not as close as you w would like to get, but you know the ogres are pretty. They're not the most perceptive things, but you're trying mm -hmm. to stay outside of the um, the watch the people on the tower. There's one pre people, there's one guy in a tower, and there's several people on the wall. Um, but you do manage to use your short stature to kind of get up their head. Uh, do you want to? Uh, sorry, you're you're not too bad a position. It's not, it's not an optimal position for you, but it's not a bad position. Um, do you want to try to uh, go further, and then more barn? Do you want to try to go further? Did I manage to get any sort of cover? You have a little bit of cover. It's not. It's not nearly. It's, it's more of that. Like you're not in a better firing position. I can't really. Yeah, I want to go. Can, but it's not great. Okay, uh, make another stealth check. Sorry. Back. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, so this time yeah, you managed to actually sneak up on a pretty good position. You're actually on a, on a slightly raised position. Um, you're not on the level of the people on the wall, but you're a lot better off than being on the on the firm ground. Okay. And you got and you got some rocks. So, uh, Morbarn, uh, do you want to keep on advancing, or do you want to? Uh... Well, I mean, I I think I need to keep advancing because I'm not right. in my I'm not in the position that I need to be in. So plus five. Ten. Ten. Okay, a little bit better. Uh, you're unable to get to the wall proper, but what you do manage to do is get to the barricade. There's, there's some barricades between the wall and where you guys are coming from. Um, any closer, you think you're going to get caught. Yeah. But it's not your turn. All right, but you but you do have a but everybody can kind of uh, the one thing you do have going for you, Marbarn, is that people can see you from afar, like because you're kind of up against a wall in clear view to them, but to the people guarding, they can't see you at all. Uh, can I sorry, weaken I, the the barricade at all? Oh, we can we can get to that here in a moment. Uh, you you might you think you might be able to even like pull some of the boards off or something like that, try to make yeah. a make a gap in it. Okay, so um, let's go to. Uh, Zogchen and Noravar. So, Noravar, you begin marching Zogchen up, uh, and the clearly seen. You're not trying to be quiet. You're not trying to like be unseen. Uh, not trying to go. Hey, surprise! I'm a dwarf. Like you know. <laughs> it's, um, uh, but as you march up, the two ogres kind of look at you, and you can see the archers up, kind of like eyeballing your position as you're coming up. But the two ogres um, go. Uh, he, he caught one. He caught one. And he, they point to the, the door. They point to the archers up on the, the, the wall. Actually, to a, sorry, there's actually a guard on the, on the, uh, the wall there. They're pointing to you. And the, the, the guy kind of looks over and he starts looking at you. So what do you guys want to do? First off, I whisper to Chad. It's like, I can't believe you would see a eyeball with a basketball ball eyeball got a bunch of stuff and didn't give me anything. <laughs> It's bullshit. All right, but then I, as we get up closer, I'm like, and you, you must have been the worst on Christmas morning, dude. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know that you've ever had your friends show back up with some fantastical L. Ron Hubbard adventure while you were doing like grunt work of counting fucking people. <laughs> I just feel a little left out. I'm sorry. Someone's got these wondrous items of magical bullshit. All right, so, okay, so as we come up, uh, I was like, where's the commander? I caught somebody trying to put together an escape plan with a bunch of people. 
All right. Uh, how close do you want to I get? I say to... try and get loose. Oh. Make a performance no. check, Logjan. See if you can really sell it. Um, or if you can sell what it. What is what is that? Is that charisma? Charisma. Charisma. Uh, all right. Well, this is the raw check. Now that would be a, a mighty eleven. All right. Okay. So yeah, you kind of sell it a little bit. Uh, <laughs> you know. Um, and how close do you want to take him, Norvar? To the to the ogres. I want to get as close as we possibly can to these. So you, you get up to the barricade, actually, uh, like right at the edge of the barricade. The ogres are maybe about 30 feet away, 20 feet away. Uh, there's a guy on the gate. He's kind of looking at you all, and he says, he says, I was wondering where you, where you ran off to. What a, you got this one. That's a hell of work. This one was in the uh, arena, wasn't he? Yeah, but, you know, can't resist me. I'm awesome <laughs> and uh no he i caught him uh i caught i got him uh while he was talking to a bunch of the assholes over there trying to get ready and i, caught, I walked in on them trying to plan an attack uh really quick yeah. re, re, sorry john one second uh retconning really quick uh dude we ever come with a uh, come to a, a certain code word as to when i'm supposed to hulk out Safe word? Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think honestly, as the closer we get, uh, oh man, I mean, with the archers, this is going to really suck. So, um, yeah. yeah, but uh, I would say, I mean, we should get as close as possible. You know, we're trying okay. to, we're trying to, t I'm going to try, we're going to try and get them calm and like, you know, realize the situation is under control, and then try and get a sneak attack in of where we can we can basically do this. As far as a um, uh, as far as a, a code, maybe I'll uh, push you forward. <laughs> okay. Into them. Okay, that works for me. Yeah, and and cool. yeah. So the, all right, the the I'll captain of the wall, the captain of the wall, he looks at you, Norovar, and he says, "Why did you head back in? You know the orders." Well, uh, I actually uh, heard some commotion that uh, I wanted to investigate, sir. I'm so, I'm I'm sorry. I but I mean, look what I got, look what I found. I found them planning something. You know, I'm just trying to help. I'm you know. Uh, Norvar, make a deception check. You're pretty good at this. Yeah. I rolled deception. Seventeen, baby. Cool. Okay. Hey. I'm just, I heard a commotion. I saw a bunch of people getting together. I headed over there to check it out. I know I left my post, but then I was able to find this guy. And I think this guy is up something. So I managed to separate them all out. And then I got back here to report to you. I see. Um, you all, the order is right. You need to get back, bring them in, but you need to keep the, uh, I mean, we're under orders just to contain. I don't know what happened. I was but. just asking. Yeah, <laughs> uh, we walked up and I convinced them that uh, I broke. No, I just talked my. I'm talking my way through this. You were uh, so stealthy that even Zoom didn't know you were there. Yeah, <laughs> you, just, you disappeared from Zoom. Yeah, it was impressive. Uh, so the uh, yeah the 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 captain kind of like he kind of whistles and the two ogres kind of look around and they're like Ur, and they kind of back off and they let you and Zog Chen through um, up to getting close to the gates uh you're coming you come in with about like three feet of the ogres dog chan i mean they're freaking big yeah um, but they don't especially for me right <laughs> yeah <I'm laughs> um the uh and the, the captain's kind of standing there he kind of looks down and he says you let him through and uh you hear the uh the bar being lifted on the gate mm -hmm. and uh the gate begins to open you feel my hand on your back kind of tighten, like, here we go. Yeah, yeah, gonna, yeah I'm ready. Here right. we go. About to fall in love. <laughs> yeah. right. My hand clenches your tight ass, and you feel it hard, tighten against with, you in a comforting. With that hard deed dwarf, apparently. <laughs> was a soft I've, re I've read this romance novel. I thought novel. we were friends. I've read this romance novel. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were friends, man. Come on. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, I'm just I waiting have, for you to give me the push. 
have lots of dwarf friends. Um, no, uh, okay. <laughs> so the gate's opening, and yeah, as gate... soon as it opens, so what's on the other side? What do we see on the uh, other side? You see that there is a series. They've, they've like kind of mounted some um, makeshift porcupines, so makeshift like spikes there. And on the yeah. other side, you can get through if like you can get through very slowly. You can't rush them. But on the other side of it is uh, four guards with shields and spears, uh, but they're like open to let you go through. Okay. Uh, in my knowledge of looking at these things, would these be things that he could he could wreck with with me with him hulked out? Would he be able to take out these like, spikes and make it easier? Uh, my knowledge, dip, my knowledge of them. They hands. would take a lot of effort to uh, break. To say the least, so like because they're kind of dug in there, they're they're largely kind of wood and like like sharpened wood. Um, could I you, cut them? You, you could probably get. Could you cut them? Uh, like you cut could start the spikes down so it's a little easier on the people that come. Like maybe that's one. I don't know. I'm, I'm just freestyling thinking. This is the side of thoughts I'm having in just the moment. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Well, uh, they seem as to be soon as to we get to, to the go. other, I don't want the gate to close behind us. I okay. want to hold it open. Who's who's controlling the gate? Where are the gate controls? Because that's going to be where. Uh, I'm it's not. Like, it's not like a gate control. It's just like they they swing it open. There's a guy holding the gate. I mean, like literally. Okay. Is it an ogre? No, it's 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 one of the guys inside. It opens up inwards. All right, I'm going well, once, to. Once we're inside, we can. Well. No, I mean the most important thing is to make sure they don't close the gate. So I'm going put to put something underneath the gate. Yeah. yeah. Uh, us? Um, I I think that we have to keep them from closing the gate. So I'm going to push as soon as they're, we're at a point where I can uh, maneuver myself to the guy by the gate controlling the doors mm -hmm. where I can stab the shit out of him. I'm going to push uh, Chen towards the guards with the shields and and and. Okay. Uh, spikes. So and then, you get on through. Uh, so I give him a shove forward, you know, like telling him get them, and then I draw my sword. To oh, take, I'm gonna draw my sword to take out the guy. That works. He just got, he just got real the bandana. He's I'm getting ready, ready to go. fight. I get it. He's gonna do his karate kid action here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's got to hit so, some fools. So you get so Zogjin, you get the push. Yeah. And as you get pushed, you can your hands come free. What do you want to do? All right, so so paint the scene here. What's in front of me? So right in front of you is there. There's like these spikes kind of sticking out a little bit uh, on the edge okay. to prevent people from like basically rushing through. There are then uh, kind of four guards them. with shield and armor. Uh, one of them is holding the gate open. Uh, there is the captain who's up on kind of a kind of a, a, a stand to look over the wall to see real quick. Um, you can also see about forty feet in front of you is the tower is a, is a tower. And then uh, around there, you can see there's like a horse and there's like some carts um, along with the standees on the wall where the archers are mounted. And there's a few tents out in the distance. All right. Um, then I'm gonna go straight for the captain. All right, you're gonna go, okay, so you're gonna you have to go around the guy and go for the captain who's up top. I gotta go around the dude? Yeah, there's a guy holding the gate right there in front of you, like right next to you. Okay, and the well then that's who I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna, gonna that's go what I'll do. Yeah. I will get that guy and right. clear the way for him to move let's, through. Let's, let's open up then with a surprise round uh, for Noravar. We'll have Noravar go for it. So uh, you can make an attack with yeah. advantage on the guy if you want to. Oh, yeah, I do. Uh, 18. 18. Uh, let's find this guy over here. There he is. Uh, that does strike him. Uh, give me damage. Uh, one second. Yes, enough NASA. Uh, I just did nine. Nine. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you strike the guy pretty damn well. Uh, he is definitively hurt and a little sh little shock and taken aback. Uh, so you so Zogchen, you see this you see the sword come out whipping out of uh, Norvar. He stabs the the guard at the gate. The gate's like oh, he's like what the hell? Uh, Zogchen, what are you gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna run towards the captain, give him a whack with my quarter staff. 
Uh, all right, so he's 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 up above you uh, slightly. Uh, yeah, you can take a whack of him. He's got cover, but that's about it. And you okay. get advantage on this though because uh, what is get cover? It gives an extra plus oh, two. Oh, advantage. Yeah, because you're oh, you guys are. <laughs> Thirteen is the highest I got. Thirteen is the highest you got. Okay, uh, that yeah. does not strike him, but you do have your bonus yeah. action. Oh, okay. Uh, you guys should be rested. So. Hold on a second. Would we have had a long rest? Sorry. Uh, yeah, you should. Uh, yeah. Do I get advantage on the? Uh, yes. The, bonus? the whole round. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Great. Okay, that's better. All right, that'll be twenty-three. That hit. Uh, and that is my, what, my unarmed strike? Yeah. Uh, that, that would be five points of damage. Okay. All right. So you go up and you, you try him with the bow. It clinks off his armor, and then you follow up and you, you punch him in the shin. Uh, that works. And that works. All right. So, uh, Saria, you've been, hold, you've been sitting there holding your shot for a while. Um, the archers are kind of keeping an eye out, but also they kind of hear a noise, and one of them gets distracted. Uh, you also have, you have clear shots, Saria, on um, – well, not no clear shots. They all, they all have cover. Uh, an ogre and an archer you can see pretty easily. Okay. Who is um, that Where's the ogre? The ogre is on the other side of some barricades from you. Um, he's, on the, he's on this side of the gate from you. But there's some bear, there's some stuff behind him. He has got some. Basically, everybody's got cover because they're all kind of locked in there and on the other side. But he's not aware. Well, the archer might be the bigger threat then. He's got a pretty big range. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go for the archer. All right, so. go for it. Uh, and you get advantage on this. So, uh, you know, roll two and take the best one. Pretty good shot too. Sorry. That's fine. You have a plus eight to hit. So hold on. If I'm on D and D Beyond, what? So if you go if you go into where it says actions on your character sheet, um, it should say a uh, longbow plus one, and then you would just click the uh, the plus eight there next to it. Oh, cool. And roll twice for yeah. Get the point. Of. Oh, I rolled an eleven for both of them. Okay, but plus that's that's a eleven total. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So your shot rings out and strikes the barricade uh, or the the wall, doing nothing to them, and they're kind of like, "What the hell's going on?" Uh, more barn. Uh, you hear commotion on the other side. What do you want to do? You said you want to try to open. You want to try to like pull some. Uh, try to open up this uh, barricade a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it seems like we're making good progress with what we're currently. Yeah, I like it. I mean, I feel like so. we have a lot of actionable items in this particular yeah. project, and I feel like we've kind of come together in a good, uh, mm -hmm. actionable. Uh, so yeah, so Morvan, please uh, uh, make a uh, just make an athletics check. Uh, you have a plus four to that. Just try you're trying you're trying to like just rip off uh, some boards. Fourteen. 14. All right. So you managed to actually uh, make kind of a, a hole in the uh, the barricade. Uh, do you want to move through or do you want to like, uh, what do you want to do? I'm moving through. I'm getting as right. close as I can make, to my uh, team. Make, make a stealth check real quick. And then, uh, and you might be able to sneak up on one of the ogres or on up to the wall. 10. 10. Okay. Yeah. You managed to actually sneak up. Uh, uh, you're, there's like a kind of a makeshift tent out there, like like where they were, they were just kind of hanging out to use this area, but uh, no one seems to notice you, and you're definitely the ogre does not notice you. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we are going to then um, kick it off. So if you guys can roll initiative for me, uh, mm -hmm. we will start the chaos. And and I have something special for you guys. Give me a second here. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Fun, Rad. Okay. Well, I got color code you guys too, real quick, so you guys can see where you are. Um, ah! <laughs> there we go. 
Murder Monk. Sorry, yeah, my uh, my situation is pretty bush league down here. It's being balanced on kid activity books and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what is this? This is bush league. <laughs> Compared to uh, what we got here. Oh, what's that? The epic. Yeah. Oh, uh, nice. So the the green green is um uh Zogchen. Blue is Norvar. Purple is Saria. Um, I don't have one that fits uh, Tearless, and then yellow is Morvarn. So too I'll buff, you guys, I'm too buff for it. That's too buff cool. For it. <laughs> so let me let me give you guys let me give you guys positions real quick. Okay, mm -hmm. so over here is the road. Uh, Tearless is like on this this end over here. He he cut off camera a little bit. Um, I can actually bring it a little bit over for him um, and such. Then uh, you can see there's just, like this pathway over here. Saria is right here uh, mm -hmm. behind some rocks on some cover. Uh, up front here, you, you have the debris, so you have like overturned carts, garbage, stuff like that. Here's the gates. Norvar is through the gate. Zogchen's on the other side of the gate. There's several guards here. Uh, the captain's right here. You can see that there are archers here, here, and here. Here's a tower with an archer, and there's several tents out in the distance as well. And then the, obviously the two ogres who are, uh, they are beefy boys. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just to be clear, that that's the ogre. Th this is this is more barn next to the ogre. <laughs> yeah, so you're very you're you're very tiny. I look badass. You do look badass. You know, you uh, are badass. Yeah. So, like, like, look how small you are next to this ogre. You know, I look badass. Is what I look like. <laughs> Gary, Gary, did I did I tell you about these? You did not, but it's it's fine. It wouldn't have changed much. Okay, I know. I'm just uh, I, I got a I got a um I got a guy that specializes in making uh, biblical time miniatures. <laughs> wow. And I have a whole Middle Eastern city because of him. Wow, awesome. Now, uh, I, I will say, now that you tell me that there's an archer right there, uh, Norvar, I might, I don't know if this is a good idea, but I might want to try to grapple the captain and maybe uh, okay. take him hostage, maybe. I like it, I like it. All well, right, so let me go back. I think initiative should... from, from uh, oh, whatever Where is from, initiative? Quick. Where is uh, that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it up for a second. Let me let me go and plug the numbers in. Uh, what did you get, uh, Michael? Uh, seven. Seven. All right, Morbarn, what'd you get? What? I'm sorry. Do I just roll the die? Like, yeah, what do I yeah. Roll do I on, your, on your sheet, uh, on, yeah. on the D and D Beyond, this thing says initiative. Uh, just hit, just click that, and they'll roll it for you. It's by speed, walking, and armor class. There's like a little box. <laughs> It's right next to speed. Uh, for you, it's a plus three. Where the frig? Okay, move on so I have a little bit more time to look because I cannot yeah, see fine. it. Um, let me, uh, sorry, I lost my thing. Okay. Um, let's see. So I got, I got tier list. We got a seven. Uh, what yeah. did sorry I get? A 19. 19. Okay. Uh, what did Zogchen get? 22. I'm 22. in this fight, baby. Uh, Norway. Oh, go. I got seventeen. Very nice. Yeah, for a negative yeah. one. More barn. Um, I, <laughs> I, I forgot roll, about I'll, that. I'll, I'll roll. Do you want to roll for me? Where is it on the on the page? It's under the abilities, the across the top, it, next to armor. Towards, well, it depends on how 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 her screen is formatted too, because it does. Yeah. It does reflect, oh, boom! Uh, Found it. Give me one nice. second. There, there it is. Scooby. <laughs> Scooby. Uh, eight. 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 Okay. See, I'm That's waiting right. for the blood. That's perfect. I'm waiting for <laughs> more barn to go yeah. than I go. Woo! Okay. Uh, and then let me uh, put the. Let me give you guys the the uh, link to the initiative. Uh, view oh, right. So you can see what's happening here. Um, and that will be in the chat. There is the chat. There is the link. You can okay. click on that and that'll, that'll pull it to you. So, top of the initiative, <laughs> um, we have uh, Zogchen. So, uh, you're standing there, uh, you just like beat this dude's shins up. Uh, what, right. do you, what, what do you, uh, what do you want to do? I'm going to try to grapple him, use him as a, okay. as a body shield, maybe. That is an opposed. So get him to back up, okay. put him in the million dollar dream. 
Yeah. Athletics. Uh, I'm good with that. That's what for me. That's uh, uh, athletics. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm using my uh, my phone. So give me a second. This is, okay, here we go. It's plus four. I'm pretty sure you got him. Uh, all right. Well, it's a twelve. All right, you beat. Trust me, you beat him. He rolled a one. Uh, you go up. <laughs> oh, you, nice. you grab him. You, you kind of go up it's and that you. Shit uh, attack! I took him out. You go up and grab him. Uh, what do you want to do with him? Do you want to move him around, or do you want to put him between him between oh, you? Oh yeah, and I, I see. You know, I got your mans. <laughs> got your mans. All right. Your man. <laughs> all right. Uh, so yeah, so you go up and you you grapple them. Uh, do you have anything else you want to do? Like, do you have unarmed? You still have unarmed strike. Uh, you could beat oh, him. Fuck it. You, you know what? Uh, while I got him, while I got him, I'm just gonna like, yeah, just like, a, you know, okay. uh, make, a, so make, know. A, make an unarmed strike against him. Oh, that would be a twenty-one. That hits. Ooh. Cool. Uh, for I forget my uh, uh, for six. Six. All right. So yeah, you start choking a little bit. You, you, you start choking a little bit, and you, they're they're going to take you a little more seriously. Uh, it is that right. his turn. He um uh, he goes to try to break the grapple, make an athletics check. Uh, I think he's out. What do you get? <laughs> what do you get? I, I got an eight. All right. Uh, yeah, he barely got out of it. He kind of like he he's like barely out of it, but he's he's. And as he kind of gets you off of him, he kind of slips out of it. He then pulls his sword and takes one, uh, one swing at you. I tried, uh, guys. Got, he got you more bar, or he got you, um, Zog Chen. He got yeah, you for my a whopping is low as shit. He got you for a whopping uh, five damage. Oh, so I was up. You were up to seventeen. Back to yeah, I was back to seventeen. Hold on. All right. Now we're all healed. Uh. Sorry, it's your turn again. Okay. I tried Norvok. I'm back by those rocks. Yeah, you're no, back over here. That's all I can and, ask for. Uh, you can see this. You can see this ogre. You can see both these ogres pretty well. Uh, you can see this guy here, the uh, <laughs> the archer, and you can see Norvar. So you have a clear shot of Norvar. <laughs> Why would you say that? Because what, they're, they're tired of your lip. Thing to Norvar. Uh, the closest thing to Norvar are some guards, but you can't see them on the other side of the wall. But the closest thing would be this ogre. Okay. I'm just going to shoot the ogre in the head. All right. Go for it. Uh, just straight straight roll. Come on, crit. <laughs> uh, that's 28. Yeah. you, you uh, Would you roll a natural 20? Uh, yep. Okay. Oh, that's oh, a critical hit. Thanks. I called it. I was <laughs> like, yo. How Michael's these? calling shots out. You <laughs> do that every time. Yeah. Yeah. How's <laughs> right. We get things done. Right. So you you strike him. Uh, you you roll uh roll uh the the d8 twice. So roll the damage um and then uh roll a d8 again for it too. Are you doing critical hit cards, Joe? Yeah. Uh, that's the one. Oh, that's nice. The one they got you. Nice. Max damage. Max damage. So roll it twice and then roll it again. <laughs> yeah. So so the idea is like roll that damage on there. Uh, they click the damage and roll that, and then um, roll it, roll it one more time. But don't tell me what the total is on the second one. Just tell me what the dice roll is. It sounds confusing, but wait. So don't tell you. Okay. No. Okay. So what I need is I need uh, your damage total for this will be two d eight plus four. So I need okay. I need two eight side dice rolled and then add four to it. Okay. Gotcha. So. Okay. Um, that is a so it's 11 total 11 total okay so you strike him pretty well uh, you definitely got his attention. He was kind of looking over initially to like see what was going on with Norvar and Zogchim. Now he's like, mm -hmm. he does not care for that. Um, all right. Uh, do you want to do anything else, Arya? Uh, no, I'm just going to stay. Right. Okay. You stay there, to chill on out. Norvar, it's your turn, sir. Okay, I'm facing the guy, the guardsman that is holding the gate is still alive, correct? 
Yeah, he's not feeling too good, but he's still he's still alive. Yeah. I have to make sure he before I move on. I have to make sure that he is not going to close this gate. So I'm going to whoop his ass. All right, go for it. All right. Do what now? I rolled the one. Yeah. All right. So you you go up and strike at him, uh, and you miss him horribly. Yeah. Right. Anything else yeah. you want to do? You, yeah. got a, you got a bonus and you got a uh, move. I just uh, want to say this scene probably looks hilarious because I'm walking around like I got somebody. He slips out, stabs me, <laughs> and, then, and then you move the roll. <laughs> I, I'm going to hit him again. Uh, I'm going to make a face and go like chat myself like son of a bitch. How, and, how are you attacking him again? Oh, I thought that I had a, you said a bonus action. But I was like, I you have a bonus action, action, but I don't know what you're gonna do. With, you have a shield and a sword, and you don't have any offhand attack. I'm not sure what you would do with the bonus action. Hit him with the shield. Shield bash is a um, oh, full attack. You have to, you have, uh, yeah. Do you have the other shield bash ability? Do you have that ability? Uh, you don't have that ability. That, that's no. a that's a feat called shield mastery. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I like the shield. I felt like I knew it. Uh, yeah, I only have, you know, my bonus action is completely defined on, on me holding two weapons, which I am not, so. Yeah. Um, All right, no problem. Okay, uh, then I will. Uh, I mean, you're wedged in the door right now, Norvar, so, like, the door won't close. Yeah, then I guess I'm going to hold this position. I think I'll probably look, make a face at the terrible, terrible miss that I just had, and then I'll hold up my shield right. towards... Let's uh, looking around, like kind of being ready to. I'm not going anywhere. I'm holding this gate open. That's my job. Okay. All right. This um. So the ogres go. This ogre kind of walks over here to the edge of the uh the barricade. Uh, if you guys want, actually, let me uh let me real quick. I'll make this a lot easier for you guys to see. There, I spotlight the video so you guys can see it better. Um, oh, the cool. uh the ogre comes over here and he picks up a rock and throws it at Saria. <laughs> Oh. Sorry, uh, he got you with a rock. Uh, he got you for a whopping uh, six points of damage. Oh. That's rude. And he's all, he's like, yeah, just, what, what's she do over there? Like, he doesn't like that. Okay. <laughs> this ogre is like, this ogre kind of like starts wandering over and he's like, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> uh, they seem to be being ignoring uh, Noravar and that whole situation. Uh, Morbarn, it's your turn. So you're back over here right now and very tiny. This is the hole you put in the gate. Mm -hmm. um, it's the first time I saw Morbarn's figure. That's awesome. So good. <laughs> uh, what do you uh, What do you want to do, Morbarn? Do you want to like try to sneak up on the gate? Uh, sneak up on I, the ogres. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to sneak up on the ogres. Okay. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna take them down. Hopefully. Okay. So oh. you managed to um you managed to kind of sneak around a little bit. Uh they're not you kind of get behind these barrels here mm -hmm. without them noticing you. Uh do you wanna you could like throw um like a dagger at them or yeah, you can throw a dagger at them if you wanted to. And try to sneak um, Could I can I try to stealthily like sneak up behind them and you're uh they're a little bit too far away from you was the problem. They kind of moved away from you. They got distracted. Gotcha. Um, let's, let's aim for the, their, uh, let's aim for their, yeah, their body. Let's throw a dagger. Right. Okay. Uh, so uh, you get, I'll give you advantage on this. So uh, roll 2d20 and pick the best one and you get a plus five to hit. And I'm just rolling the die or, or is there like. You, you can uh, click the attack roll if you want to, or you can just uh, roll 220 and tell me what you got on each one. Okay. So, and I'm going to do it with a dagger. Uh, and so I rolled twice. I'm so sorry, guys. Yeah, like, yeah, twice. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Oh, the highest one. Oh, natural 20, baby. Yeah. 25. You crit, and it is a uh, sneak attack as well. So you do double damage. Damn. Yep, and uh, they have to make a dexterity saving throw. And uh, oh. okay, uh, so as you come up, you kind of make a little bit of a noise, and the ogre kind of looks around. Uh, roll damage. So your damage with this, um, uh, Andrea is going to be 2d4 
plus 2d6. So Not it's sure going to be. What that means. Uh, what that means is that you're going to roll two six-sided dice and two four-sided dice. If, if you want me to roll it for you, I can real quick. Uh, okay, so there's two D4 and two D6? Correct. And then what number do I give you? Uh, you give me the total. Of all four rolls? Yeah, both four dice. Yeah, so you you can like go in the corner of D and D Beyond where that little that little icon is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, I'm on it. I'm on it. And you yeah, can yeah, click yeah. yeah four twice and then the six twice and just roll them all together. Oh okay. Oh yeah. bitchin', got it. You critted. So yeah, you, you got <laughs> fourteen. <laughs> yeah, 14 plus three, so you get seventeen damage on him. Uh, so your your dagger rips out, and as you um. Uh, you kind of threw, you make a little bit of a noise and he looks back real quick and your dagger strikes him right in the left eye. Uh, yeah. Out his eye. Blood just everywhere. God. Oh, that's, that's my sign. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, oh, it's, it's my turn. Uh, okay. Um, the archers uh, get a little, they start noticing, uh, what's one over here fires at Saria? Oh, man. All right, he fires at you twice. Uh, he misses you twice. Yeah, your cover, your cover saved you. Uh, this one up in the up in the part up here, he fires at Noravar. Uh, Noravar, he got one hit on you. Noravar, he deals a whopping six points of damage to you. Ouch! How rude! It is ouch. <laughs> uh, the the other ones over here. This one sees Morbarn kind of sneaking around. Doesn't really care for it. Takes a shot at, Nor at Morbarn. Morbarn does have cover. I uh, got one hit on Morbarn. Morbarn, you take uh, a whopping four damage. Uh, Morbarn, one thing. So when this when this strike goes to hit you, um, you feel the arrow like like clip your body, like it's gonna hurt. But you get this surge of energy, like the surge of energy from your sword that seems to like prevent you from really feeling it. Okay. Like you feel a lot less pain while holding the sword than you ever have. Ooh. Yeah. Yes. All right. Um, nice. The, and the last archer uh, fires at... This will be, this will be more barn again. Actually, this will be uh, Saria. Uh, miss and a miss. All right. Mm. So moving on, uh, the guards. Uh, the one guard that uh, Norvar seems intent on stabbing tries to stab uh, him and makes his attacks with longsword. Uh, he got a miss and a crit, though, on oh. Norvar. Norvar, uh, that's not too bad. Uh, make a wisdom save, Norvar. Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay, you're fine. Uh, he's a little scary, but not too bad. Uh, but Norvar, you do take nine points of damage. Oof. It's a little. It's a little beefy. Um, all right. So the guards all then um, tried. Uh, the three of them then uh, tried to gr uh, grab. Uh, what's his name? Zogchen. Uh, Zogchen, can you give me a uh, roll for me? Uh, three athletics checks. So you're gonna. Never mind. They they grabbed you, dude. There's, there's so many of them. They grabbed you. So that did pretty well too. God damn. Oh, what'd you get? What'd you get? Uh, uh, one is a twenty-one. One is a sixteen, and one is a seventeen. Yeah, one of them rolled like a twenty-three. A one one managed to grab you. Um, right. but the other ones rolled, the other ones put their turn trying to like trying to get you down. You're like you're just like fighting them off. Um, the yeah. captain like uh. The captain then uh, goes up and smashes you in the face with his gauntlet. Oh, man. And he really, he, really didn't, he really didn't care for your shenanigans earlier. Uh, you take four damage from his uh, rather insulting attack. All right. It is uh, the trouncer's turn. Uh, so you start hearing all this chaos uh, kind of happen. 
I was, Michael. I was giving I was giving the uh, the twelve uh, halflings and dwarves and humans like a motivational speech before we, <laughs> we go oh, in. Man. You know, kind of <laughs> like yeah, and prouncing around. Yeah, exactly. They may they may take our lives, but they'll never take our hooves. Yeah, yeah. We were lost, yeah, and then we are, now we are free. So, um, uh, what do you want? What do you want to do? I am going to move as close as I can to like you know lead the attack. I'll do a reckless attack on my first. But um, well, how far? You're not gonna get. You're not gonna get within melee range. Okay. But you managed to get up here. Okay. Nice. Okay. Then I'll. Uh, um, I can throw something, you, right? Uh, that's a double move, actually. Okay, that's throw. Oh, because yeah. I dashed. I dashed. Yeah, you dashed. Yeah. yeah you okay. I'm, I'm going to. Oh. Your, and here comes your rabble. Of rabble elves, yeah. dwarves, and halflings approaching as they start trying to storm the gates. Um, I can dash and move, right? I can dash and yeah, yeah. You did a move action and then you dash, so that was gotcha. um, that was sixteen squares, which is gotcha. basically the double thing. Yeah, so you have a bonus uh, action still, but I don't think. It's okay, yeah, I'll, I'll rage on my bonus action. Uh, I would advise against that. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah. Actually, I yeah. should wait until you'll lose yeah. it next turn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Sorry. All right. Still so, getting used uh, to that. All right, Zogchen. So you're standing there. Uh, these these uh, one of the guards managed to get a hold of you. Uh, you can still you can still attack. You can still like fight, but you are. Oh, I'm going uh, to. Okay. Who you yeah. want to go after the, the captain? Oh. You want to go after these uh, chumps? What do you want to do? So it's the captain and how many? Is captain two two jokers? What's that? <laughs> is it the captain and two jokers or the captain and three guys? It's captain and four guys. Uh, one of them oh, is currently shit. fighting Norvar, and then three of them are trying, okay. to, are trying to hold you down. Oh, I'm going to go for the captain again. Fuck him. All right, go for it. All right. Uh, first is going to whack him with the quarterstaff. You got it. Oh, that is a natural goddamn 20. Yeah. You guys are, you guys are, That's three so far. Awesome. I know. Yeah, you guys, are, you guys are making up for lost time here. Yeah. You, you mean my one. All right. <laughs> uh, you do maximum. Uh, Zogchen, that is maximum damage. So just whatever, you, whatever your max roll would be. That would be, uh, if I'm using one hand here, uh, that would be nine. Nine. Okay. So you go up and you give him like a really good blow to the uh, the chest. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. you got you still have more turn. Oh yeah, I'm gonna. Can I uh, do my uh, flurry of blows? Yes, you can. All right, nice. we're gonna do that. I've I've got what two key points, so that's yeah. one. Um, all right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that one's just eleven. That misses. Yeah. You have one more attack. This soon hurt my uh, shoulder too. Um, uh, okay, yeah, that's it. You, you get well. Flurry of blows. When you blow the key point, you get two more attacks. Oh, oh, that's right. That's right. I'm like, don't slow, don't slow, dude. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding. Oh no, uh -huh. I'm wrong. Sorry, my bad. I thought I got a six again. It's a nine. I don't think that helps nine. me though. That would be thirteen. No, that doesn't help you. He's wearing some pretty yeah, heavy armor. Yeah. All right, but yeah, you go up and you gave him. A, you gave him better than he gave you last turn. Um, yeah. And you're still held. Hell yeah. Uh, it is his turn. Um, he um. He tells his men to begin uh, to take you away, uh, and they start they start pulling you away, uh, Zog Chen. Okay. Um, you can kind of see them out here as they kind of start hauling him in. Uh, the captain looks back at Norvar and is all uh, basically says, "You know, <clears throat> die traitor." Uh, <laughs> but he can't quite get to him because his buddy's uh, in front of him. So his buddy, the the one guy, takes a stab at Norvar under orders and he misses all right uh saria it is your turn okay um, so i got you here the ogre here is definitely how he definitely has looked at you uh, there's arches on the walls so can i this attack ogre, and then move yes you can and then yes. and still use the bonus action yeah okay you want hunter, you want hunter's mark I want a hunter's mark the archer that hit me. Okay, no problem. And shoot them. Okay, <laughs> go for it. Okay, that's a 26 to hit. Okay, that's pretty nice. good. Uh, so you do a D8 and a D6 plus, I think, three. Yeah. A, a D8 and a D6 plus three. Plus four. Sorry, plus four. Yeah. Here, magic bow. Forgot about the bow. 
That Norvars hurt. It really hurt. Yes. Yes. Somebody please come to this door and save me. <laughs> Don't you have potions, dude? No. Yeah, you do. Check your check your sheet on DD no. Oh, what'd you get? What'd you get there, uh, Kaylee? Um, that's fifteen total. Fifteen oh. damage, right? Your your strike hits him pretty damn hard. Uh, do you want to? Where do you want to move to? Um, I want to go join the the fray, the sent okay. off, and the rest okay. of the people. So yeah, you jet off. Uh, okay, you get over here behind this cover, and uh, you're you're on your way over there to help him out. Okay, nice. Um, uh, it is Norvar. Well, at three hit points, I'm going. I'm feeling pretty rough, so unfortunately, I'm going to have to burn pulling out this potion of greater healing that I knew I had the whole time. And <laughs> oh, that's that just drink that shit. So drink, drink it. I, my game, drinking a potion is a bonus action. So, uh, oh, just, yeah, awesome. Okay, so, so do that and I, heal yourself real quick. How much do I heal with this? Uh, if you click it on D and D Beyond, I'll tell you forty-four plus four. Oh, there we go. 44 plus 4. I have that wow. one second. Gotta love rolling the triangles. <laughs> 6, 39, 12, 16. I heal for 16. They should be back in full then. Damn, nice. Oh, yeah. I am. All right. All right. Okay. So you feel a lot better about yourself. Uh, you want to, this guy is still fighting. You want to keep on fighting him? I like, I feel myself go, oh, yeah, all right. <laughs> and then I, I take a swing at him. I'm like, all right. All right, right Norma, give it to him. That's a little more like it. Uh, 20. 20, okay. Uh, yeah, you hit him. All right. Don't forget you have smites. Or do you have smites yet? No. Not yet. I'm really committed. Smite. Oh, wait, I do. Yeah, so you got spells, you got smites. I got smite. I don't have spells, but I have smite. Well, you, it's because you didn't take them yet. You didn't choose your spells yet, but... What level am I? You're level, level two, four? dude. Right. Anyways, you, you can smite okay, the guy. Give him, give him the smite. All right. I'm definitely giving him the smite, because I'm tired of this so, shit. Yeah. All right, so... So it so does an extra 2d8 damage. Yep. Okay. Uh, right then. Uh, I do twenty damage with it. Total. So you you go up and you feel the energy of wanting to have like get out of this place and like of saving these people. It kind of comes over you and you smash this guy dead. Uh, and in fact, wedge his body in the door so it will not close easily. I look up and I look at the captain after I do this and smile and say groovy. <laughs> I know nice. it's I know it's hackney, but you know whatever it's kind of uh, fun. What, what what do you want to do? Do you want to move away from the captain? Do you want to move outside? Do you want to move further in? Uh, I'm I'm oh yeah. I mean I should go after. I'm gonna I'm looking at that captain. He's right okay. in front of me. You press in on the captain. You go. You walk into the gates and are ready to fight. Yeah. I got to make sure that uh, a certain dwarf doesn't get dragged away from me. I need to be able to grab that mo murder monk's ass one more time, at least. This this ogre really is uh, rather distraught, having lost his eye. This one looks over and sees Morbarn and walks over and tries to smash Morbarn. It says it goes over to Morbarn and says, "Key bug, you go squish now." <laughs> And he whiffs more barn. His, his club comes down and you just like jump out of the way immediately. Yeah. And this guy's kind of wandering around like, oh my eye. All right. It is more barn's turn. Yeah. So uh, so I got this dude's eyeball on my dagger, right? Well, the, da well, the, no, the dagger's embedded in his eye over here. Oh, okay. Gotcha. But you do have your bone sword. Well, I'm busting that baby out. So. There you go. All right, go for it. I got my bone sword. It's a plus six to hit. My, yep. Come on, just baby. Straight, just straight check. Eleven. Eleven. Eleven does hit the ogre. He's not that. He's not that. Uh, 
hard to hit. Uh, so you just roll the damage on that uh, raw. So D6 plus four. Five. Five damage. Okay. So you rolled a one, huh? No. I rolled a, a two and a three. Am I doing that wrong? Yeah, it should just be um, roll a. You should just be rolling a d6, and then add oh, I thought you said. It. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you said d4 and d6. No, sorry, just d6 and d4. Uh, should I just run it? Roll it again? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Sorry, guys. No problem. No worries. Yeah, it's damage. Get the right Wait, damage. Wait, so it's it's a it's a it's a what plus four? Uh, six. Just one, a, a, a d6. Six. Six. All right. So D6. ten, yeah. So plus four is ten. See, that was totally worth it. Free roll. Yeah. So yeah, you go up and you 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 cut him pretty bad. Um, do you want to try to get away from him? No, I'm finishing the job. Finish the job. <laughs> All right, I like it. Okay, uh, not a bad move. It is the archer's turn. Uh, these archers, they start fiddling with something and they all fire arrows simultaneously. You see um, immediately flames begin to emerge from the, uh, oh. from the uh, different pieces of wood presented out here. Cool. So this is all on fire now, making it a little more nebulous for, for people to try to approach it. Um, but that is their turn, uh, lighting those on fire. Uh, the guards keep on, uh, they keep with their, uh, their holding of Zogchen and keep on dragging him away. Um, trying to drag him to the tower. For now. For now. <laughs> For now. Um, it is uh, Tearless' turn. You want to charge okay. ogre? Yeah, yeah. Let's right. charge that ogre with, and I'm going to use the Morning Star. Are you gonna use a trident? Are you, are you gonna use a morning star? Okay. Uh, well, yeah, you know, but a trident. Yeah, I would like to try. Let's try to impale him with the trident. Okay. So you go up and you char You get the charge on him and everything too. So you can do. You can. Uh, you rage. Uh, I, think, okay. I can't remember if you can. Yeah. Or I can reckless attack because I think rage is a bonus and so is the charge, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Hood. Yeah, the hooves would take up the bonus action, so I would have to uh, reckless attack. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, right, because it would at least. Oh, oh, I'll, wait, I'll give it to you, man. Rage or reckless attack? Yeah, you have to rage and reckless attack. Reckless attack is just, a, just something you, you enable for the turn, but yeah. that's, that's going to give it to you. Yeah. Okay, so you, you go in and you get the uh, the reckless attack. So you have advantage on this attack roll. Okay. Uh, with your rage going, so go ahead and give me the um, trident the roll. Yeah. Okay. You get to hit. Okay, first one is 21. Second one is 20. The 21. Okay. And Did then, the, yeah. And then it's the 1d6 plus 3 because it's got two damage rolls. Uh, yeah, it's, it's unless you're using a two handed, which would be d8. So d8. Got, plus but I got the. Sh actually. Yeah, I got oh, the, the shield, shield though. Right. Okay, so d6 okay. plus 5 actually because you're raging. Okay. d6 plus 5. Okay, so 7, 12 total. 12 total. You go up and you hit this guy pretty damn hard. I'm going to give you the hooves, too. I'll, I'll give you the hooves. Okay. So do the hooves also. Uh, sick. 21. That hits? Uh, yeah. And uh, 12. 12. So you go up and you kick this ogre. And you go up and you stab the ogre and you kick him in his chest also. Okay. Um, as you and Morborn stand there fighting him amongst the, the fire and the flames. All right. Okay. Seven points of damage for the hooves. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, he's definitely not feeling well. All right. That was Tearless' turn. It is the rabble. The rabble will start moving up. They're a yeah. little hesitant to flames, um, but they're they're definitely getting motivated to try to get in here and help when they can. Um, but you're you're definitely inspiring them, uh, Tearless. Yeah. Come on, Ren. Use that club. <laughs> it's funny, too, because you guys are saying, when you guys were calling them red shirts, I was laughing because, like, one of the miniatures is, like, wearing a red shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, was like, I was like, well, I guess he's the first to go. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, it is Zogchen. Uh, you're getting dragged off. They're getting ready to, like, open the door and put you in there. What do you want to well, do? Well, I'm going to try – well, I guess uh, I'll try to break free. All right. Make an athletics check. Oh, uh, they get advantage on this because they're holding you. I want to break free. 
<laughs> What'd you get, bud? Nine. Nine. Yeah, they managed to hold on to you. Do you now, wanna... do I still get my bonus action? Yeah, I'll let you do your unarmed strike as a bonus action. Sure. You know what? And I'll spend my last key point because bad things are about to happen right to me. Yeah. All right. yeah. Good work. It's like a headbutt. Oh. I rolled two fucking fours. <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I'm coming, buddy. I'll get there. Okay. We're, we're uh, the guard the, the the guard captain starts fighting with uh Norvar. Me. Seeing Norvar does not like your traitor ways. Uh Norvar, he got one yeah. hit on you. What? Norvar, he he got you for ten damage. The fuck is this guy holding? Longsword and skill. You know, that's just rude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, you're yeah, not really not. a tr traitor because you were never he, a guard. And, and, yeah. All right. It is, uh, that was his turn. He keeps on giving to you. He's like, Sorry. he doesn't really care for what you're doing there. Uh, Saria, it's your turn. So you're sitting here behind the gate. You can see everybody kind of moving uh, over that way. Uh, you could try to jump the jump the fence. You could try to go around, and get shots on the ogre. Uh, oh, there's a lot of options here. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna try to post up like right on the edge of the gate. Okay. Uh, it's kind of a balancing act to land on there, but you could. No, certainly... no, no, no. Sorry, like by the entrance. Oh, over here. Yeah, so I could like okay. sort of peek around it. So yeah, you come over here and you can actually see the ogre pretty easily. You can get a shot on the problem. Okay. If you want. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll try to shoot the one that. Um, or you could shoot at the uh, the archer you have the hunter's mark on too, but that's not a story. Well, I can still see him. Yeah, he's yeah he's up there. Yeah. Oh. I'll just go for him then. Oh, right, go for it. Still has hunter's mark. Twenty six to hit. That hits, no problem. Nice. And then D eight plus D six plus I think four. Mm -hmm. So and then sorry. No problem. Fourteen. Fourteen. All right. Uh, your strike hits him uh, dead in the neck, and you see him like fall back over the uh, back here somewhere. Nice. Uh, do you want to move your? Do you, where do you want to move your hunter's mark to? You want to put it on with the ogre? Yeah. No, all right, put on the ogre. Ogre's now marked. All right. Yeah. I just see you just like going. Now he's yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, Norvar, you're standing there going in, in in one on one in mortal combat with this uh, captain. Who seems to be Ryan. driving? Divine Smite was definitely coming. Combat! Mortal Combat! <laughs> 19! That does strike him. Yeah. yeah. And this is a Divine Smite I'm burning for this. Your last one. All right. Yep. Fifteen. Fifteen damage. damage. You hit him pretty damn hard. He is still standing, but he does not look well at all. He's now Ugh, he final like knockout scared. fatality. All right. Yeah, exactly. This ogre, uh, this ogre looks over <laughs> and says, "Horse meat," and he goes and he beats oh, on a uh, tearless. <laughs> that is horse, not horse. cool. Well, he gets advantage too. Tearless. He got a 16 to hit. I think that hit you barely. Uh, yeah, I got a 15, but I'm also raging. So don't I have immunity to piercing, slashing, you think you resistance. Do resistance? Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. you'll take less, you'll take less damage, but he still hits you. Okay. He still beats you around the head and neck area. That's all right. Yeah. You uh, he got you for a, he got you for a whopping 17 damage. So half Ooh. of that so you would take. Okay. Eight. Weak. Week. All right. Uh, this one that's lost his eye kind of gets his bearings back and starts kind of one. He kind of wanders over here and throws a rock at Tearless. A rock? Okay. Um, I have danger sense. 
So, uh, oh wait, that's not Dex. Okay, that's never like mind. That's traps and saving throws. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He got he got you with the rock. Uh, you take a whopping uh, five damage, only two damage. Okay. You still got plenty of hit points. You got more hit. You still have more hit points than most of the party has total. So <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. All right. Cry harder. All right. More bones. <laughs> uh, so you're standing there, and this ogre, this ogre is definitely distracted by Tyrolus's charge. Uh, you think you get the sneak attack on him with your sword? Hell yes, I can. All right. Nice. So roll a d20 and roll your attack for your sword, and see if you can get him. All right. Rolling my d20. I have a feeling you're gonna kill it. Wait, give me, show me some patience here. So I rolled my d20, and then do I roll my hit? Uh, that's the, the d20 is your attack roll. Okay, eight. So, uh, plus, uh, and then you get a plus six to that too. Okay. So, so 14? Yeah, 14. Okay, that's so you a hit, hit them, no problem. That's a hit. They're pretty easy to hit. How do you know, how do you, what is a hit? Uh, a hit is basically it depends on the creature you're attacking, but him it's like a it's like eleven to hit him. He's pretty easy to hit. Okay, nice. So, okay, cool. Um, so roll uh roll uh two d six, so two six side dice. Copy that. Add four. It's gonna be so dead. <laughs> Max ten. Ten. Okay, plus four, so fourteen. Um, so yeah, you actually, uh, so tell me how, how do you kill him? Yeah. With your bone sword. With my bone sword? I yeah, so stick him in the, I stick him right in the ogre belly button and then rip it all the way up. Yeah. So, so real quick, real quick that you, you don't stick it down into the ogre because you're so tiny. You stick it up into the ogre <laughs> and then you kind of jump up and down on him or something. Oh yeah. I, I I drag the da I drag the sword as I'm like climbing on his body. Yeah. Okay. So you see Morbarn standing triumphantly over this over this or over his corpse. And it is flinging. not a clean cut. It is like oh. shredded. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so here so let me let me paint the picture for you. So here's all these rabble and this this they're all charging up and all of a sudden they see this ogre here just go down being gutted as this gnome is jumping up and down yeah. in the middle of fire. Going, you know, intestines everywhere. Yeah. Uh, what do you want to do now? Do you want to try to? Do you want to try to go off? Do you want to go help Norvar? I gotta, I gotta help my team. So I'm headed to Norvar right now. All right. You, you, you deck off uh, out behind uh, where Norvar. I is. trip on some entrails. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it's a right. mess. Uh, you, That's a you feisty gnome. Uh, you managed to like, kind of climb up and in, and you actually are uh, next to the captain and Norvar is fighting as you kind of deck around all the, the obstacles and such. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, it is the archer's turn. Um, this one here sees uh, Morbarn coming in. Take a shot at Morbarn. Oh, you bastard. And that is a miss. And the other one is a hit. Uh. Morbarn, you take um, six damage. All right. Uh, the other one over there uh, fires and uh, actually kills two of the rabble. Oh, Ooh, the, red the red shirt. shirt. The red shirt. Yeah. Red, Knew it. Two of them actually. But yeah. Right. Could never wear a red shirt to battle. <laughs> um, the uh, it is the uh, guard's turn. Uh, one of them opens the door, and from inside the door, uh, and they kind of bat, they kind of pull back Zogchen a little bit, and from inside the door, Zogchen, you see this woman with like a, an iron mask and robes, um, uh -oh. walk out. Where the hell she go? Okay. Oh my, I lost my gal here. I had her on the initiative. Okay. Anyways. Um, <laughs> What did I name her? Is it is it my is it my turn? Uh, it is now uh, Trouser's turn. Okay. Okay, I will move to the. Uh, well, I'm impressed by the move by um, Warbarn, of course, and I'm gonna that that charged me up, so I'm gonna go to that second or ogre, and I'm gonna use the trident. Okay. Okay. Sorry here. Okay, there it is. God damn it. 
I was more prepared. Okay. Look, where did it go? Okay. Actions. There we go. Okay. Try it. In. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Uh, and what were you going after the ogre? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you hit no problem. Okay. Uh, Are you reckless attacking? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. Um, okay. So four points of damage. That's it. You get extra yeah, plus two. I I rolled a one. Well, you get you get an extra plus two because you're rage too. So okay, so six total. Six. Okay. Don't slow yourself short, man. All right. I know. Thanks. Uh, you want to hub them? <laughs> What's you that? Hub them too. You can give them the hooves. Oh yeah, yeah. Of course. Always gonna give the extra hooves here if I can. Okay, so seventeen. All right. Uh, you hit them. What damage you do? Okay, so damage. Four plus two, so six again. Six again. All right, you you kick him. Uh, this thing's missing an eye. It's been kicked and stabbed. It does not look like it's in good shape. Um, all right, goes back around. Uh, Zogchen. All right. Well, stand, well I'm being as you stand there, this this woman walks out, who you recognize as Iforish, which is one of the uh, Jarzok's wizard lieutenants. Oh shit! Lip wizard. Well, and, and Norvar is coming to help me, right? Working on uh, yeah, you see, you see Norvar and Morbar uh, now within sight. All right, the bitch is getting uh, she's getting the quarter staff. Uh, she's not What's within the melee range. She's she's still five feet away from you. She stayed. She oh, didn't get back with you. the guards are between uh, you and her. Um, well, there's no point in me trying to get free because this is <laughs> where I'm going apparently. Uh, well, all right, well I guess I'll. Nah, I'm just always worth getting free. Me. Use your brave heart this situation. What, what, are, you doing? what, what are you doing? I can't, I can't I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna attack the dude that's holding me. All right, go for it. All right, so first one's with the quarter staff. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so that's uh, 15. Uh, doesn't strike him. He's got armor on and everything. All right, and then I'll do my unarmed oh. strike. Going for the Nards. Oh, that is a uh, 24. You hit. The Nards. Oh, my Nards. 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 Nard shot. That's right. <laughs> Monster Squad forever, baby. Uh, all right, so that's... Take, uh, a, chance, one, take, two, a, chance, take a chance, take a chance, take a chance, take a chance. Wolfman's got right, that. That would be That's five. Nard dog. Five damage. All right. You give him some action. Uh, and there's... They're, oh, they don't really care for that at all. Uh, it is the captain's <laughs> turn. Uh, the captain keeps his, keeps his attacks on uh, Norvar. Uh, Norvar, he misses horribly. He did not do well. Shield. Uh, it is Saria. That's because he's intimidated Saria. by the ball strike I just gave. He was. I think he's uh, focused Saria, on me, uh, but yeah. Uh, do you know, <laughs> uh, what do you want to do, Saria? Uh, I'm going to use... So the ogre that had Hunter's Mark is down, Yeah, he, right? he, he died, oh. so you want to move to this guy? Yeah, I'm going to move it to the other ogre. Right, is that the up? only thing right there? That's... What's that? Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah he, and I'm going to shoot. Yeah, go for that it. That one. Right. Make your attack roll. Uh, 13. That hits him. Okay. That's four, and then ten total. Ten total? Okay, yeah. Cool. You give him a pretty good shot. Uh, he, he's still staying there. He's got an <sighs> arrow sticking out of him. He's got a dagger in his eye. It <laughs> does not look good. Uh, hoof, Norvar. Hoof prints on him. Depends on if you're into that type of thing. <laughs> Horseplay? All right. Um, <laughs> so it's uh, Norvar. Uh, you are fighting the captain with uh, Morbarn. Yeah. I'm gonna give you an, I'm gonna give you an additional plus two on attacks against the captain if you if you attack him. I'm totally attacking him. You and the captain, make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> Kaylee's face there was pretty good. She's like, what? <laughs> Twenty-five. Twenty-five, you hit him. Give me damage. Eleven. All right. You sl how, tell me how you slay him. Yeah. 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 
okay, so he comes and hits me. I block it with the shield, and then I flip my sword around, and then just like come, like yeah, just I'm just gonna fucking him. wallop him. Yeah, I just come. <laughs> it's a, it's a complete response to his hit. I block and push the sword. He's uh... open, and then I shove it in him, and I look down and go, <laughs> shove it in him. Uh, I, I stab him in the chest. Healthy. I stab him in the stomach, whatever. Whatever okay. he goes right. down, and I'm like, you're okay. done. All right. Uh, where do you want to do? Do you want to go up to Zogchen? Yeah. Yeah. I'm moving. Okay. I'm going to knock him down and move up. right up. You press up to your buddy Zogchen. All right. Press up. Uh, if <laughs> I'm coming. Oh. Is that what she looks like? Hmm. Uh -oh. Yeah. Something like that. Uh, she, I need a wisdom saving throw. From Zogchen and from Norovar. Shit. <laughs> I rolled a one. Oh. Damn. And what did Jerry get? Don't get charmed. You're muted, dude. Oh. Yep. Jerry, you're <laughs> success? All right, he got he got something high. Well, yeah, we can't hear you. You're muted. You're, you're muted, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, must be pretty good. Thank you. I'm having, Would you... <laughs> I'm having conversations with myself. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> no reason. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, cool. Sorry, man. I, we knew what you meant when you went like this. Okay, so Jerry made it. <laughs> uh, so, so you, so, so uh, Zogchen is still being held by these guys. Norvar, all of a sudden, your body completely freezes up. Uh, as, as she, she says some words to you, you hear this like mo you hear like, and all of a sudden your body no longer wants to work. Um, you are held. Doesn't feel like a comforting held. <laughs> no, it's H E L L. Feels like a feels like a very abusive held. It is. It is a little abusive. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Feels aggressive. Um, held. It was. Uh, the, the ogre over here uh, <laughs> attacks at Tearless. Tearless, uh, it goes to strike you, it hits you. Okay. Tearless, you take uh, 18 damage, so nine after a reduction. Okay. Whew. Ah. It's, it definitely it hurts. Uh, yeah. And the ogre is bashing at you, swinging wildly. Uh, Morbarn, it is your turn. Uh, you see that Norovar is frozen up. Zogchen's being, being like, uh, pulled into the building by these guys. Uh, there's the wizard there, and there are um, the uh, guards. Uh, you think you might be able to take a guard out? The wizard might be kind of more of a challenge. Um, I'm always up for a challenge. OK. Do you want to go for the wizard? <laughs> Hell yeah. Why not? <laughs> these guys are like, what oh, kind of boy. strategy does no, it's good. have? I saw that move. Yeah. I like it. Morbarn is all whatever occurs to Morbarn is what Morbarn is going to do. I mean, all right. I, mean I think that, I think that me going for the Wiz is like a better, yes. better for the team. Not it's not a bad move. It's not, I'm gonna tell you, it's not a bad move. I think it's a good move. All right, so uh, make it just a straight attack roll. Every time I try to take a step, <laughs> paralyzed. <laughs> ah. <laughs> High noon. Okay, it's uh. So what's so it's attack. So uh, plus anything or nah? Plus six. Plus six. Yeah. Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Yeah. You strike the wizard. Uh, roll damage. So uh, yeah. D6 nice. Plus uh, four. Strike the wizard. <laughs> um. And the new song off their next album is bored. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you can write a whole, exactly. over. Yeah, write a whole album about this called, called like R Rise of the Rabble, uh, char Charge the Ogre, Assault the Tower. Oh, man, that's, that's like, that's all Dio territory. <laughs> yeah. 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 Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I back that. We oh, he flies. Okay. Um, <laughs> How much damage so what, what am I one rolling? D I'm so sorry. Uh, 1d6 plus 4. 1d6. I got. Come on, baby. A big nine. All right, nine total. Okay, good, good hit. Uh, so you're, you're, so you see it as you stab at the wizard. Uh, you can see through her robes and below her mask that her skin is like covered in stone, and okay. you, it looks like most stuff would like just kind of uh, chink off of the uh, 
the uh, arm of the stone there, or whatever it is, but your uh -huh. your sword, the bone sword, goes right through it like it's just flesh. Wow. And you pull back, it's, and she's a little shocked. Yeah. What's that? It's not good. What's that? No, I'm listening. No, it's great. And, and, and you see, and you pull back, and you and like she looks down. You can see her eyes through the through the little sockets of the mask. She's shocked that she's bleeding. Oh, never mind. That is good. <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck?" You cut her, man. Like, all right. So yeah, you, you go up and you actually cut her, and she's like shocked at the blood. Um, what? And I'm like, "That's my bone sword." Bone oh, sword <laughs> of the Iron Tower. Yeah. All right. Uh, it is the archer's turn. Uh, the one up in the tower fires at Tyrolis. Okay. I'm definitely bloodied. Actually, actually yeah. they fire at the rabble. They actually kill off uh, three of the rabble. Oh, no. They didn't even one's make a, it past the gate. One's a dwarf. Imagine yeah, being they, that close to the gate, man, and just not making it. Poor guys. Yeah, but you know what? They they had their freedom till the end. Mm -hmm. We were Yeah, lost. they died free. They the tower free. shook and our chains right. fell. Yeah, and yeah, right. and they did die free. It's true. I like that makes uh, me the, the guards. Um, uh, they let go of Zogchen as they see uh, Morborn stabbing at uh, the wizard. Uh, two of them come in and try to um, uh, stab at Morborn with their spears. Uh, one missed horribly, and the other one got a critical hit on Morborn. Oh. No, 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 no. Yeah, not our gnome. Come on. Uh, Morbarn, you take uh, nine points of damage. My, I, my, mm. I think that puts you at zero. Okay. That puts oh. you at zero? Yeah. No, the okay. gnome's down. So you, so you get stabbed you and unconscious. You see, you see Morbarn go. Uh, success. Go on. Oh, that, that's for death saves. We'll get to that next, next turn. That, don't worry about that yet. Uh, but so you am I dead? No, you're unconscious at this point. Zero is unconscious. You don't die yet. Yeah. You could die if you're left there. You but don't die. worry, you have a don't paralyzed worry. medic nearby. <laughs> okay. We have a benefactor. Paralyzed. Are you Somewhere. still paralyzed? Because I don't think yeah. so. She, oh yeah, she broke the con. Oh right. Oh, oh, uh, I forgot to roll for that actually. Yeah, uh, yeah. concentration or whatever. I forgot to roll for the concentration. Good point. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, you broke it actually. You're no longer paralyzed. Uh, Boom shakalaka. Nice, sorry. And then I see, and then I'm just in time to see more bard like collapse. I'm like, what the yeah. Fuck? yeah. Oh. Um, the other Zog. one, the other one uh, tries to stab at um, Zogchen. Uh, misses Zogchen badly. Uh, it goes to uh, the trouncer. All right, I'm gonna use every last ounce of my strength to uh, trident this uh, ogre so I can move into the gate. Right. Go for it. Come on, eighteen. That hits, no problem. All right. Damage. Uh, seven, and then plus two, right? Still raging. Yep. Nine total. Okay. You stab the ogre. It's still going. Uh, you, <laughs> can't your, you can't use your hook because you didn't charge this turn, but you're still, you're like sitting there like just swinging at this ogre. Battling this guy. With it. All yeah. right. Uh, the rabble uh, begins to kind of move up a little bit further, kind of going around your fight, trying to storm into the gate. Yeah, leave uh, me. Continue, rabble. Help, help the rest of them. <laughs> Continue, rabble. <laughs> leave me. Save yourselves. Rabble, rabble. Rabble, rabble. <laughs> rabble, <laughs> rabble. <laughs> Ren, do it for the rest of them. Come on, Ren. Do all it. these okay. little like rabble moving across. Uh, Zogchen, you're you're free. Uh, you're standing next to uh, two. You're, you're standing amongst the guards. Uh, Norobar's next to you. You see Morbarn down on the other side. Of these guards, this wizard, uh, looking at their wound a little bit, not happy about it. What mm -hmm. do I do? Who who dropped uh, who dropped more barn? Uh, it would be the the uh, one of the guards. Next archer. To you. Oh, no, the it was archer. Oh, was the archer? No, it was the guard. Actually, yeah. did. Oh, okay, I'll go for the. Well, but see. ironically, his name is Archer. That's <laughs> <laughs> just, just complete. It's a complete Sterling like archer. coincidence. <laughs> um, you know what? Let's uh, let's let's take a couple whacks at the uh, at, at the witchy woman. All right, so you want to move up to her? Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm you moving up to her. Yeah, you, 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 uh, you won't provoke, actually. You'll be okay. Yeah, you're good. Go for it. Okay, yeah, she's so going to get that break out step. Like, Go for it. Oh, that's correct. Uh. Okay, that didn't hit. Um, now oh. I'll do my martial attack. Yes. That hits. That's, I mean, it should. I mean, that's 23. Yeah, you hit her. 
Okay. If you're a uh, bare fist, yeah, go for it. How much damage do you do? Oh, that should, uh, I forget what my, my, uh, I think it's like plus two. bonus is to that. Is it two. plus two? I, I thought it was more. Uh, it's plus no, three. It's plus three. Right. three. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that would be five. Five. Okay. You go up to her and you punch her and you, it reminds you of punching stone. Like your, your hand mm. hurts when you punch her. Okay. Um, and, but you can see that That's part of her, like her skin is like, uh, Cracking a, like it, you see, it kind of like, like uh, does crack a little bit though. All right, gotcha. Uh, it is uh, Saria's turn. Uh, I have you back here. Uh, there's an ogre you can see. You have the mark on, no problem. You have clear shots. Yeah, I'm gonna go for him. He's pretty hurt, right? He's not looking good. Yeah, I'm gonna go for him. Go for it. It's an 18 to hit. That does it. Kill it. Kill. A lot of dice. Uh, that's a 12 damage total. Oh. How, do, how do you kill him? Yes! Uh, how yes. close am I? Uh, you're about like uh, 20 feet from him with your bow and arrow. Wait, he has one of, he's blinded in one eye basically, right? <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna just aim for the other eye. Just try right. to stick him yeah. right in the brain. You, you, know? you strike him in the other eye, and then he reaches up, grabbing for both of his eyes now, which have things sticking out of him as he's bleeding and he just falls over dead. Okay. Nice. Uh, Is he the only I, thing I, in there? Can I uh, uh, move my hunter's mark then? Yeah, do you want to put on one of the well, dark? Right? Yeah, do you want uh, there's an archer here and an archer here. And those top. are the only people I can see. Uh, from where you are, the other archer over there too, but yeah, those, those are the ones you can see, yeah. All hunters mark the archer that shot Morbarn. Okay, there, okay, that'll be this one up here. All right. And do you want to move up a little bit? Yeah. All right, you move up a little bit, keeping pace with the rabble. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Rabble, rabble. Uh, Norabar, you're standing there. Uh, you, you got your, your kind of back to it. Uh, you're standing next to a, a guard or two guards. As you see Zogchen going after the wizard, that's come out and more barn on the ground. Uh, I don't know with the guards right there, I'd be able to, I want to lay hands on more barn, but I don't you, know if you, I should... if you, if you moved away from these guys, you would provoke from one of them to try. Right, to, uh... Exactly. I, I'm in, I'm in the shit right now. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and attack the guard nearest in front of me. Sorry, right. more barn. I'll get to you as soon as I can. Uh, go for it. Twenty-two. You strike him. Oh yeah. Twelve damage. Twelve damage. Very nice. You you hit the guard pretty damn hard, actually. Uh, mm -hmm. He does not look like he's going to be able to last much longer. He's a little shocked at getting hit uh, by you. They're also a little worried about you because you downed their captain. All right. Yeah. Our ogre friend is dead. Uh, Iforish. Forage did not care for um, Zogchen and Morbarn's little display there. Quite frankly, they, uh, she found it distasteful. Um, she proceeds to suddenly just vanish out of nothing, into nothingness. Damn it. Riddance. We're in hell. All right. Uh, Morbarn, it is your turn. So you are on what's called death saves. So just roll a uh, d20 and tell me what you get just by itself. 19. 19. You get a success. So if you want to check where it says uh, success and failures on the desk, if you click where it says success and failure, um, yeah. check the success box. Copy that. Okay. And that's your turn. Um, it, oh, is oh. Now, it is now uh, the archer's turn. Uh, this one up top here uh, fires down at... Uh, fires a... These two over here kill some rabble as they come in. Oh. Uh, one of them is your Ren, buddy. Is Ren dead? Ren dead? Ren, Ren is dead now. Oh, man. Um, that and this one, this one jumps off here and starts kind of like decking around this way. Uh, that won't keep the position. Uh, the one up top of the tower uh, actually fires at uh, Saria. 
Sorry, uh, they missed you. Actually, they didn't miss you well. As the, you have the cover from the gate, so you're you're doing pretty good there. Uh, the guards turn. Um, two of them turn to fight Norvar. Uh, they attack Norvar. Bring it. That's a miss. I got one hit on Norvar. Norvar, you take a whopping uh, three points of damage. Okay, good. All right. Uh, the other one swings at uh, Zogchen with a spear, and he got one hit. Zogchen, you take uh, four damage. We'll remind him when he comes back. Okay. Uh, moving on, it is the Trouncer's turn. Uh, the gates are open, Trouncer. Yeah, definitely uh, trounce my way through the gate. Uh, if I could charge <laughs> at the first thing I could see. You or actually managed to charge, you charge through the gates uh, with fire blazing behind you, and you managed to get to one of the guards. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I'll, I'll give him a trident in the back. Trouncer. Also give, oh, oh, I'll do a reckless attack then. Is that? All right, and you can also get the hoods on too. Okay, time, perfect. So. All right, so I'll reckless attack on with that. So first one, come on. Hey, really, it's not a trident. Yeah. Things really escalated. 15 for the first one, and then let me see the second. Whoops, right. Oh, oh, Chen, you took four damage. Okay, so I got a 15 and a 13 for that oh. trident. Your first trident oh, attack. The 15 will miss. Yeah, it doesn't miss. Okay, so it miss. Okay, so then I'll do the hooves on the guard. Yeah, just, give the, just give me the highest one. Okay. 19. 19 does strike. Okay, perfect. Kick him right in his chest. Ah. Plus two, right? Plus two, yeah. and that's an eight total. Eight total. Okay. You give it to him. He's still up, but he's not. His, he, he absorbs it with his shield, but it's, it's like he cannot take all your weight on him. I need to all kill right. somebody, man. Jeez. I don't think I've gotten to finish anybody yet. Soon. <laughs> it hurts Trouncer's ego. <laughs> all right. Uh, the rabble start coming through the gates. Uh, five of them made it out of like the 12 that started. All right. Not hey. bad. Not bad. Uh, I mean, you know, more than, I mean, you know, a little less than half. Give me the rest. Zogchen. <laughs> Uh, the he wizard disappeared. Risk. What are you, a uh, head of healthcare in America? <laughs> Jesus, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to, uh, uh, Jerry, uh, the, yes, uh, the wizard blinked out, um, and you're standing next to uh, three guards, and the rabble have come through, bar more barns on the ground. Uh, the three guards you're with do not look like, they're definitely demoralized, to say the least. Oh, I don't give a shit. I'm going to whack at them. All right. Uh, do you want to beat on the? Do you want to beat on the ones about to get crushed? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why okay, not? I'll get that. I'll get that kill. Why not? All, All right, right. Go going for the staff. All you right. Think not I will get a kill. Are you hitting? Uh, you, you take him out. No problem. He's gone. Okay, he's dead. Uh, what about another one? There's another. One? Yeah, there's two more next to you. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna backhand one of them. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's thirteen. I don't know if that hits. No, that won't hit him. He's got armor. Well, Man, I, I'm rolling like shit today. It's it's pathetic. Uh, sorry, it's not. Uh, you have you you come you come to the gate and you can see up in the tower the archer up there. Do you want to shoot at him? Could you have him marked? That was the. Sure. Go for it. Come on, crit. Big money, big money. It's gonna be like enemy of the gate style. You hit him. Point him in the wrong. That's 16 total damage. Oh, wow. Yeah. You fuck him damn. up. You strike him pretty damn hard in the shoulder. He looks like he's not like going to last much longer. All right. Uh, Norvar, your turn. All right. Let's, uh, I'm, it's hard for me to make out completely. So what do I got in front of me? Do I have any room? It's only a, it's, we haven't had a first date. We don't have to make out all the, all the way. But uh, uh, sorry. Do you want to nice, you can, you can nice. move around the guy to problem. To what? You can move over to move over to Morbar, no problem right now. They cleared up the way for you. All right, I'm gonna go to Morbar and lay hands on uh, him. Lay hands Morbar. on him. Lay my hands down. And get him. Some. How much? How much does Morbar heal for? Uh, well, it says that I can do ten a turn. I can do ten total, but I think I can only do five a turn. No, so. you can do it. You can do your full blown. You can blow it all. I'm just gonna do five. I just want him his eyes open. All right, uh, Morbar, you gain five hit points. And be 
you suddenly come to consciousness seeing Norvar hold, uh, lay his hand on you, telling you that it's going to be okay and, uh, amongst all the chaos. I got right. you, buddy. Er, you crazy little my man. artist. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to <laughs> paint on your shirt. Oh, it's fine. It's it's okay. We don't have with, to do that here. With ogre intestine. You see a forest. Yeah! Uh, real, you see a forest uh, reappear over here. And walk is that away. The, is that the witch? That's the wizard. Yeah. And is they. Uh, well, I got me a witch. I need I need a dexterity saving throw from everybody. Uh, Ooh, you'll get advantage okay. though, uh, Tearless. Yeah. All right. Do I get as a monk? Don't I get uh, advantage on that or no? I can't remember. Let me take a look real quicker. Uh, you might get it later. I think you get it later. Later, yeah. Mm. Yeah, not right now. Okay. Fine. Dex with advantage. Okay. I have twenty-five. Ooh. Oh, nice. Yeah, Tw Twenty-two. Twenty. And I rolled an eight. All right, so let me go through it real quick. Um, so as you guys stand there, all of a sudden, the world becomes fire as a forest <laughs> of a fireball. Every single one of you and all the, ra the rabble all die, and every single one of you go unconscious, and everything goes black. What Oof. an asshole. And, uh, but also, you guys, before you do fall unconscious, Norvar, you see uh, the two guards burn up in ash. Dang. Mm. Along with even, and even part of the tower going up in smoke as uh, the, uh, the guard there burns up. Uh, you see the that other two guards. They're, they're ruthless, dude. Um, but everything goes black. And uh, we'll pick it up next time. Nice, nice, nice. 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 That was good. That was. Wait, so Morvarn is. Well, now we're Morvarn's all. Conscious. I guess uh, we're all back. Wow, you didn't die. No, I brought Morvarn up to five hit points. Yeah. Same as me. Okay. okay. I had eight, and then I went down. So that was. Uh, that was. Uh, that was good. That was nice and brutal. Was it brutal for you guys? It was. I wanted a brutal. And I, get I mean, away. if I rolled better, it would have been more brutal. But, uh, <laughs> you know. No, rolling, rolling is, it, is it more brutal to roll, roll better or more brutal to roll worse? Right. That's a fascinating <laughs> question. It's a little philosophical. But, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, either, either way, I wish I would have rolled better. Let's put it that okay. way. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's <laughs> come down to you. Well, I hope you, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was fun. Oh, yeah. Well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was fun. I, one of my, was my fun. weird combat setups I do. I, I love doing miniatures. Oh, that's miniatures. awesome. I don't, I don't just paint them, man. Yeah, I thanks. They're toys. I play with them. Yeah, <laughs> you got it. Yeah. It's nice but, to uh, have yeah, a good. too. So. Yeah, it's helpful. I, I, I usually do the, uh, I, I usually do a multi-camera setup, but I haven't done that for a while. So, uh, but yeah, but that was, was a good one for sure.